because of like one nuance that happens you're like oh this is what proves that like this event was actually so one bad one nuance the end of the delaying from, of the certification uh, of the uh, vote because America? donald trump didn't accept that he lost the election you think that's just a tiny nuance to be honest, I think deep down, he, he knows he technically just lost the election, but he's still playing the whole role. Oh, cool. Then you agree with me that he was lying as well. Thanks. Oh, I, also, thank you. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. So you agree that it was an insurrection. Thank you. Yeah, Pisco, you're right. No, yes, you I'm agree that it was an insurrection because they had the justification and you agree that he lied about it. You just said that Trump knew he lost and was trying to remain in power anyway, and you still might vote for him. <laughs> Do you understand that you just got blown the <laughs> out? You understand you just got completely obliterated? No, I'm right? asking for specifics. You understand specific. that your like just you got are. You're trying to push on the tail. Your <laughs> is gaped right now. You are gaped, sir. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we, um, lifelong Republican um, and voted Republican my life. I did vote for Trump um, in 2016. I think I voted for him in 2020. I, I honestly just can't remember uh, where my mind was at at that point. Um, I, I definitely will not be voting for him um, in 2024. Um, I, I kind of come from, I'm a bit older than, than certainly you, and, um, you know, and, and I come from a, a place where the Republican Party, you know, I believe in more conservative principles, Reagan, Bush. Um, unfortunately, I feel like the last... Um, eight years, we've kind of, you know, I, I look at what my kids see as the Republican Party, and it is not what the, the Republican Party that I that I stand for. And and at this point, I'm willing because I, I really want to get get that party back. I'm willing to um, go against uh, the, what, what the Republicans have put forth in a candidate. And um, I haven't 100 percent decided I'm voting for Harris, but I'm certainly leaning that way. I obviously want to hear more. But it would take a lot for me to, you know, if, if, if it's really bad, then I'll just, you know, abstain from voting for, for either candidate. Um, but definitely want, you know, definitely won't be voting Trump and want to get the, want to get the party back. And I think the quickest way to get, to get the party back is to, um, for Trump to lose, um, hopefully by, by a lot, but yeah. to a point where I think MAGA finally, you know, that, that's part of the party at least stems back a little bit and we can bring back the more, conservative principle type of candidates cool um this is going to be a debate so uh if, if you just want to speak and, I'm, and tony i'm not like singling you out but like if uh if you want to request and just speak about um why you think you agree with me it's probably just let the people that disagree come up um kind of want the debate to go i'm trying to convince as many republicans not to vote for trump and uh that's my goal for this this space is uh, but uh, yeah, I agree with you, Tony. I appreciate you speaking up. Uh, anybody else want to talk before I add uh, more people? I'll say as much hate as I'd gotten today, I would be surprised if nobody actually showed up. That would actually be pretty funny. Yo, uh, so Riley, I just saw your recent post about you flipping uh, after eight years of supporting Trump. I'm just curious, like what uh, what led you to support him in the like was it his policy originally that you went for him or like, what, what, what exactly did you do to like support Trump or what did you support of his? Yeah. So uh, against Hillary, he sounded, he sounded like he was, he knew what he was talking about more. Um, well, maybe that's not true. I don't know. It just seemed like a big shakeup and I was young and it, he, he sounded like it was different and we've had more of the same from Republicans. Um, Trump would call them low energy, like McCain and Romney and George Bush. And we all we all have our issues with Bush. And stating out the obvious uh, about like how we shouldn't have done that. And he criticized the Republican Party, which is kind of a fresh take. And it, it, to me, it seemed like it was maybe a a good idea to support this guy, but, um, I got disillusioned with the media Staying in 2016 obvious, to 2020. Uh, about like how um, we shouldn't have done that. I saw what happened on January 6th. And after that, I turned out taking it all, it, to me, all it takes completely. Like and I just media, focused on my career. A good idea. To but, um, this guy, but, um, a couple of years after that, I started reading about January 6th and what I found shocked me. And it, it, it's, the evidence is very strong and clear that Trump 
used his base's cognitive biases and their willingness to uh, believe in conspiracy theories because they have abandoned the media altogether, which the media has its own problems, but they, they did do how they did have reporting that was strong. And uh, yeah, and, and Trump used his base to try to steal the election in 2020. And I, I, I can't believe nobody in my party or I wouldn't say party, but nobody on the right, like, understands this. I don't know how, like, this is not, like, the most talked about topic in our country. And it pisses me off that um, right-wing news media chooses not to talk about it. Um, Fox News has been, like, in a few court cases, and they're they're coming up on a, a, a new court case about the elections fraud in 2020 with Smartmatic in 2025 and they're probably going to be found guilty but nobody talks about that um yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pissed I, I hate Trump with a passion now because I feel like I've been lied lied to and uh yeah I was made a fool and uh I'm, I'm going to vote against him and I'm, I would urge other Republicans to do the same because he's not your friend. He lies to you all the damn time. He just posted a conspiracy theory about AI for Kamala Harris's, uh, Kamala Harris's rally. And we all know what that's going to do to our country. Because in November, when he loses, there's going to be another January 6th. And there's no, there's no limits on like what he's capable of. And I just don't understand how he's able to do it again. Sorry, I, I, I went on. But that's basically the gist of it. No, I get that. I mean, a lot of people pull up the January 6th thing. Uh, personally, I was for Trump, but more of like uh, him being the generic, you know, American guy that runs a business and everything else. So that was kind of like uh, what what I, you know, kind of fell into nowadays. It, it, you know, seeing him post about AI and stuff like that it seems like a little crazy. But when the people bring up the January 6th thing, um, and this is something I kind of wanted to uh, Stephen to speak on as, as well as like, you know, if you look at any kind of politician or any kind of streamer, it's like saying like Kai Senat uh, caused riots in New York or whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, pe- people use January 6th as like, oh, he was calling to action a bunch of people. But it's like, you're going to have dummies that like follow into that kind of stuff and take it too far. Um, even if you're having us, you know, uh, for instance, I live near Seattle and we had like the Chaz thing happen here. You know, you're going to get dummies that fall into that. But I, I don't think like somebody saying something or or slightly saying leaning into something means a call to action for everybody. Just go do it. And that person to be blamed into it because uh, it, it, it just falls into the, the same thing as any other kind of influencer. Yeah. Well, I guess so. My the thing is, is that. <clears throat> It wasn't random. Trump held the rally on the 6th for a particular purpose. It was to protest the certification of the vote. He had people like Giuliani and Eastman speaking at the ellipse before him, saying that everything they were planning was legal, that they could get Pence to overturn the election. Donald Trump gave about an hour-long speech where he reiterated all the false voter fraud claims, said that we were on the verge of losing our country, said that we had to fight like hell to take our country back, was trying to get Pence and the other Republican lawmakers to come through. And then at the end of all of that, he sent everybody down to the Capitol where the restricted area had already been breached. And then people continued to riot at the Capitol. And then over the next three hours, Donald Trump did nothing except for call politicians to try to continue to delay the certification of the vote. So it could just be that people happened to do exactly what was beneficial to Trump and what he seemed to be calling them to do the entire time. And I don't think it's comparable to things like Chaz because I don't remember any big Democratic lawmakers saying like, hey, you guys should go and you know, like make a, make your own, I guess, sovereign territory in Seattle. You guys should go and do this. Like, it's not like they were following orders from any big politicians, whereas this is what Trump was telling people to do for weeks. Uh, Yeah. But like, that's what I mean on an influencer scale of maybe it was just a smaller scale with, with, with Chaz. Right. But there had to be somebody there that started the whole thing and said like, Hey, let's do this. And so the people within just that small, you know, it wasn't, a, a national speaking or anything like that, or a, 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 but there was a speech at some point within that local neighborhood that, you know, they went and started to 
take over <laughs> the block that they had or whatever it was and, you know, um, just start their little riots and their little hissy fits of, of what they were doing there. Sure, like um, the president of the United States, isn't that, doesn't he have a bigger responsibility for speech and doesn't he have more responsibility if he's calling his followers to an area and they end up committing acts of violence and it's all kind of part of his ability or his plan to like delay the certification of the vote or cancel it? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do think that his speech and that that's a big reason of why I don't support him as much now as a it was before because the the speech thing, like he he knows that it gets the views and it gets people riled up, riled up so he kind of uses that. Um, but it kind of happens on both. I mean, this is this is the influential play, right? Like every influencer has their ways of getting their following to to act in certain ways, whether that be with ads or whatever else that they're doing, like. It's just a part of the whole game nowadays. Like, well, but that, I mean, that's like, what this election feels like. Is, is it's a game? What would it, be the it, equivalent on the Democratic side for this? Like, who on the Democratic side was calling people to go out and and literally riot or destroy or try to prevent the election from being certified? Like, I don't know, I, and I don't know if like that's gonna play if they're gonna. If for some reason like Trump wins, then maybe they play into that. But I, I I don't have like a specific. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not too. I, I watch a lot of your videos, but but I'm not very political. Um, I I don't. Uh, I haven't voted. Like I I feel like voting between two bad options is not really like a a good thing. Like, I don't understand why, <laughs> why we keep running into the same system where every year it's always an extreme left and an extreme right. And like the guy in the middle just gets left out. Cause if I were to vote this year, it would probably be for RFK. Cause he seems like the most reasonable in the middle person. You know, I don't know if that's just a, a play or like his con of what he's doing, but you know, I, I've never been extreme left or right. I, I feel like Everybody has, you know, like some things on the left and like some things on the right. And the extreme thing just plays into more and more of every single year uh, or every four years. Like it, it just turning into this huge, uh, you know, just a media play is all it is. And an influential, in, influencer, in, influential play. But what, is, what are the I don't think the Democrats are calling people to violence like this. I can't think of like like leaders, like lawmakers, like people in media. Like there is no equivalent to Democrats saying we need to march on Congress and prevent the certification of the vote or an equivalent Democrat um, like media company, like the Dominion lawsuit where Fox News is saying we were knowingly lying about these voter fraud claims the entire time. We knew it the whole time. And now we're going to settle because we're completely caught out. Like, I don't think there is an equivalent on the left right now to that. Yeah, no, right now I don't think there is. No, don't you think that would have happened if uh, Pence uh, refused to certify the vote and um, that did the whole scheme that everyone is convinced of that happened or was happening? Don't you think that it would be, quote-unquote, justified to storm the Capitol and, and prevent Pence from doing that? Potentially. Right. So if the populace believes that they are, like, part of some uh, wrongdoing democratically— they can rise up and use force if they want to. Yeah, but the issue is that... Point blank. Yeah, I, I, I mean, as an American whose country was founded on insurrection and rebellion, of course I agree with that, but the issue is that they were rioting for a cause that was fabricated. It wasn't because Donald Trump legitimately thought there was voter fraud. It was because he wanted to remain in power. Yeah, you'd have to prove that to that mob, though, which believed otherwise. Yeah, but the right? mob believed it because Donald Trump told them and because his campaign worked with other people like Fox News, OAN, and Newsmax to spread the lie that there was voter fraud. Yeah, but that's assuming Donald Trump knew he lied, right? He did know he lied. He repeated the same statements that had been debunked by his attorney. No, we don't know that. We do, because he, re he repeated the exact same statements over and over again that other people in his administration had told him over and over again were lies. They weren't true. Right, but those were cronies. Like those were like the rhinos you were talking about. You think that William Barr is a rhino? Uh, uh, not Barr per se, but Barr was already a little shaky before that. Sh okay, so Barr was shaky because he didn't want to go along with Trump's lie. What about Giuliani? Was the guy that originated that 
the false Georgia claim about Ruby Freeman. Yeah, he was a rat in court. We saw it. Not just in court, but he admitted about the Ruby Freeman thing that he lied. He just lied about it. He made that up. The OAN news story, that was a lie. That, that was just made up. Yeah, but we have no way of knowing that or verifying that. Now, I'm just saying, at the time, the populace believed it was a rigged election, right? Well, so, you keep saying the populace. You know, one leads the, to another. The populace only believed it because Donald Trump was telling people that, even though every single person around Donald Trump was saying there's but no evidence fine. of this. That's neither here nor there. I'm talking about, at the moment, these people thought that, so it's completely justified as, and actually very American, like you said, as to why they did that. I'm not talking about, agree. yeah, but I'm not talking about voting for the people for president. I'm talking about Yeah, holding. but we keep talking about January 6th. January, it's like, oh my God, it happened. Yeah, and it's understandable it happened, is what I'm saying. And we both agree. Do we agree that Donald Trump should be held accountable for it? If anyone, it's him, right? For we, we have no way of knowing he's lying. No the populace was, if you're, if you're right, the populace was mis misled. So what they did was not wrong. It was understandable, right? Yeah, but the problem is there's no accountability now because the whole populace is denying that any of this even happened. Right. We'd have to prove if Donald Trump was like knowingly lying about that or if that was actually a scheme going on in the background. Well, and we, we have no way of knowing that. Yeah. We, we act like we have like a like a, a third eye in the Pentagon. We have no way of knowing that. Well, we know that Donald Trump was repeating statements that every single person in his administration told him there was no evidence for and that there were lies. We know that right. he asked the DOJ to lie for him. Um, that's one of the reasons why Barr quit. And then his next attorney general and deputy attorney general almost like ended up revolting because Donald Trump was saying he wants the DOJ to send out lie letters to states saying that they'd found evidence of voter fraud. Um, Wait, I, I've never heard of these actually. Like, I need to look up on this. Hold sure. on. Isn't that Jeremy Clark? Um, well, Clark was the guy that he was going to appoint to, to spread the lie. But um, initially it was Barr that quit over this. Um, and then the next two that came in uh, Rosen and Donahue, um, the, yeah. uh, the acting AG and the acting deputy AG, uh, Donald Trump asked them to send out a fake letter to the seven swing states and say, hey, listen, tell these guys we found huge evidence of voter fraud, so they need to like take back their electoral vote. And when they said no, Donald Trump was going to fire both of them and then make Clark the new attorney general, who's like the head, the acting head of like the environmental agency or something. And half the DOJ threatened to quit over this. And that was the reason why that ended up not happening. Like Donald Trump has given evidence he's a liar over and over and over. Yeah, and yeah. Over but again. like if you know this and, and uh, like people presumably know this already, like why is this not a court thing? Why has this not been like judged it or whatever? Is. Well, now it's interesting that you say that because what I just brought up right there is something that we will never hear about again because the Supreme Court has ruled that when the president of the United States is talking ah, about hiring convenient. or firing certain people um, or doing in certain investigations, now that's an, uh, a job of the president that is absolutely immune from any type of criminal probe. So that that so Roberts personally right, like, so scratched out that action so that can never, well, no, it's not ambiguous. We know that he was doing these things. This is all in testimony now. Like nobody denies any of these things, but... Yeah, but you just said we have no way of ever verifying this, even though we quote unquote know this, it's never going to go to court because the Supreme Court is on his side. Well, no, no, I'm saying that in the future, we'll never hear about these actions. But right now, we know all of this has happened. Nobody denies any of this. There's like tons of witnesses for all of this. This is just like a known thing. Nobody yeah, but if this actually happened and we knew it for a fact, it would be criminal and it would be persecuted. Well, it was part of a criminal prosecution. It was part of Jack Smith's large indictment. Right, but it didn't go through, like you said. So that well, makes sense. Okay, it's not going through right now, but that's because the Supreme Court has blocked the ability to criminally review it. We still know that it happened. Right, but we didn't go through the process properly it, still. I, do you think that Donald Trump didn't ask people to send out those letters? We have no way of knowing. Like, this is a whole uh, logic tree. It's not like one or two facts you're talking about. You're talking about a whole scheme. So we have to, like, you know, review it one by one, like in a judiciary process or whatever. Well, I mean, these people that were involved in this have already given testimony under oath to Congress. Like, I mean, what more right, do you well, need? I, I, like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What okay, talking about? that's fine. Okay, am I dumb for that? Like, I'm well, no, you just you didn't know what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't know what else I can say. Like, this is all like open testimony. Like every like Donahue, Clark, um, Pat Cifalone, uh, every other person that was involved in these like conversations have all like testified to these. Like all of this is there. Nobody is saying that this hasn't happened. Nobody denies any of these uh, things have, haven't happened. Like Barr right. was asked to make the same lie. It was the reason why he ended up giving a big interview to I think it was the Associated Press. And then Donald Trump got so mad that um, Donald Trump axed him. He told him, you, you know, or I, well, Barr basically said, you what, you want me to resign? And then Trump was like, yeah. And then Barr left because Trump was asking Barr um, to basically fabricate information. But Trump was going around saying the DOJ has found all this stuff that's not true uh, about election fraud. And then Barr was like, this is not true. None of this is true. We haven't found any of this. You're lying. 
thing. And then Barr gave an interview to the AP and then Trump made Barr resign basically, yeah. And you can find all of this super easy by just searching January 6th committee hearing and all of the documents are available to read for everybody listening. It goes yeah, weren't those those like weird step. rhino Republicans making a website against yeah. Trump? Well, is it? I mean, but the, but definitionally, every single Republican that turns on Trump is going to be a rhino Republican. So that means that, and it's not like anybody loyal to no, Trump. No, they're all like old fucks that did that. I think it's it's easy to discount the proof until you've read it. There's literally thousands of pages, and and there's stuff that you cannot like to to fake the text messages between like staff at the White House. Like that would be at the very top news of Fox News. Yeah, but the whole thing that. is about a state of mind, and and you're talking about allegations of a state of mind that hasn't I, been proven in court. I don't so know how am I about. supposed to get like uh, take your word for that? That makes no sense. Well, I mean, you don't have to take anybody's word for it. You just look at how the people are acting. What other state of mind could exist where Donald Trump is telling the DOJ to send out emails saying that they found evidence that they haven't found? That's just a lie. There is no state. You're, of you think you have, you know, the state of mind of a guy that is in the, the biggest position of power, but still being sabotaged in the background by like the shadow government? Nobody is you know sabotaging that? him. And yeah, I think it's pretty easy when a guy is demanding that people send oh, out okay. emails that has a lie in it. That's a verifiable lie that everyone around him is telling is a lie. You have no idea how many lies he deals with every day. It doesn't matter. That was a lie. He asked them to send out an email that was a lie. Everybody told him it was a lie. What email are you talking about specifically? Um, there was an email that Clark uh, was going to send out that basically was telling the other states, hey, we found voter fraud, and he wanted to get the AG, uh, the acting AG and the acting deputy AG to sign off on it, and they said, no, this is a lie. Um, and then that ended up blowing up into a huge thing where Trump was about to fire the AG and deputy AG and make Clark the, the new attorney general to send out this fake letter. I can post a copy of it if you want. I don't know if there's like a chat here. Yeah, but... I mean, I'm, like, where can we post it? Like, you want to post it on Twitter or something? Dude, or... Hold on one second. Why didn't they do it though? Like, if all of this, like, why didn't he just do it? Why didn't he? Because the Department of Justice was threatening to uh, the uh, the uh, the Department of Justice staff were threatening to quit if they if Trump uh, put Jeremy Clark in to send this uh, fake letter to the states. So there may be tangible evidence that you know can tie all this up in a nice pretty bow, but I wouldn't take anything that 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 the january 6th committee said like that that committee was a farce i don't care what you say this is coming from somebody who doesn't particularly like trump but that was a farce that was trash yeah those were people already of, against trump saying yo we're against trump like yeah we get it bro. they they, yeah. they played videos with like cut out of it like that whole hearing was ridiculous i'm sure. sorry so let's okay let's, no but well, real quick let have we can you think of a single thing that came out of that committee that's been contradicted that ended up being not true yeah like the vid the clips that they played were not full clips like they literally cut stuff out of the clips you're saying what was a lie a ton of it was a lie and it was can you give the me whole a committee example? was can you give me a single was example? conjured up yeah they played the clips of him at the rally saying we need to walk over the capitol and they and they they intentionally cut out the part where he says peacefully and patriotically walk over the Capitol. They just cut it out of the speech like it never happened. Just curious. Like, wait, wait, real quick. I'm that sorry. is absurd to me. I posted a reply on my Twitter. If you go and you read the last thing I posted, it's that letter that um, that Clark wanted to send. Um, number one. Number two. How long do you think Trump's speech was at the ellipse? Approximately. How long was the speech that he gave at the at the at the ellipse at the cavern yeah yeah i i don't know another thing that wait, 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 wait. Just, I think don't wait, just really... focus on that hold on because you said this is a lie i'm just curious do you, if you had a ballpark if you had a guess how long do you think that speech was yeah i'm not sure how long it was but i know for a fact that he did say we need to peacefully and patriotically march over to the capitol and i'm gonna come with you whatever blah 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 well, hold on just to be clear, i don't know he how never, long he never was. said that number one but number two if you had to guess do you think it was closer to like five minutes or like an hour I would probably guess an hour. He tends to ramble. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the speech was like around an hour. He said, I know you'll all be marching over peacefully. That was like, I think like 20 minutes into the speech. The rest of the speech okay. was about fighting like hell to take the country back and that you were going to lose the country yeah. and that we had to go. I heard like the same bit from, from Walter, from Schumer and uh, who's the, I can't think of her name. Who was like, you see him at a gas pump, you get in their faces. Like it's the same kind of, they all talk democrat republican like 
So it's you're going to have to do better than that. If you're going to say incitement, you're going to have to do better than, oh, you're going to have to fight okay. like hell for your country because that's not okay, good. Just enough. back it up. I just looked it up. The entire video is 70 minutes and 52 seconds. So, yeah, it's over an hour. It's not insignificant. Um, yeah, I mean, Donald Trump said like a ton of different things in that speech. He reiterated all the allegations of voter fraud. He talked over and over again using fighting metaphors. We got to fight. Uh, you know, we've been fighting like a boxer with one arm tied behind our back before he went on. Giuliani came on and he said we need to do trial by combat. Like, do you think it's just a coincidence that all the people that marched over to the Capitol that afterwards like a riot raged on for three hours? Was that just a no, that yeah. was human nature. How like, many people were, were there? Were a small group of instigators and then human nature yeah. people followed. That's how it goes. How many and people? People were you, at just that route. Admitted, if it was a, a different scenario where Pence doesn't certify the election, it goes into chaos, and there's fucking Democrats at the door of the Capitol, then you would hear Destiny saying, "Oh, well, actually, it's very understandable. We're Americans, after all. We're we like to uh, see democracy, after all." And these people thought their democracy was being taken away. That's because just how they were it goes. being lied to. But people aren't even. Yeah, yeah, like, people don't even that, own nobody. what just. Yeah, we, yeah. The proof is basically already out there. <laughs> Um, how many people were at that that rally? Like a hundred hundred thousand people, something doesn't like matter that. How many people were there? The reality yeah, is, yeah. But you enough. say that he incited violence, and how many people broke into the Capitol? Like twelve hundred. So one point two percent of the rally understood his call to violence, and ninety eight percent of them went home. That's that not like all of them is, could doesn't make sense. Not all peaceful. of them could fit inside. If Donald Trump didn't want them to go in and, and cause violence, why did he sit staring at his TV for three hours and not call them off? If his like super secret messaging is so clear, why did ninety eight percent of the people misinterpret it and just go home? That's I don't what know I don't. Why you're get. saying misinterpreting? They did their mission. The goal was to delay the. What do you mean? The there were a hundred thousand people they there, delayed. and like twelve hundred of them went to the Capitol, and yeah. I think seven hundred of them actually got in. And only a few of them were actually charged with actual violence. Most of them just walked Trump around. Do you agree that they delayed the certification of the vote? Yes. Okay. So they, I, they, I so agree they that they should be mission, so they accomplish their mission. Number one. Number two. Okay. Like, do you agree that Donald Trump sat and watched for three hours and did nothing? I don't know if it was three hours before the tweet came out where he was like, was everyone needs to go home. Minutes. Yeah, it was about three hours, right? Yeah, I don't know. Trump okay, so is wait, an, wait, don't say I don't Trump's know. an idiot. Sit, I'm not and watch arguing no, that point. He's not an idiot, though. No one's saying he's an yes, idiot. Yes, he is. I'm Trump is a moron. Have you ever heard him it's ramble in his speeches? No, he wasn't being an idiot. He was being purposeful and intentional. He sat and he watched. He made phone calls to congressmen, encouraging them to delay the certification of the vote. He talked to Giuliani for 12 minutes, and then Giuliani made calls to congressmen, encouraging them to delay the certification of the vote. Like, why are we trying to make these weird excuses when, like, the whole plan is so out in the open and everything happened, like— just exactly as he wanted it to. Like, no, there's no mystery here. <laughs> like, why do we have to invent like a weird mystery? He wanted to delay the certification. He was talking about it all morning. He'd been tweeting about it for weeks. He managed to delay it. He just couldn't get Pence to, to go along with the plot. Yeah, in my mind, none, none of that was ever plausible. Even if he thought it was that it could happen, it, it could never have happened. It doesn't matter. No, you're saying that now because it ended up not working. But when when is plausibility? No, in ever what been, universe could it have worked? If Pence wouldn't have certified the vote, nobody knows what would have happened. Yeah, I just I don't even think it was within his power to not certify the vote. Well, I mean, Donald I remember Trump the four disagreed. years earlier when when all the Democrats stood up and said, this is a this is a rigged election, whatever. And Biden finally had to put the gavel down and be like, it's over. OK, yeah, that it's never over. happened. Number one. And number two, what do you mean? In no 2016, when riot, Trump won, there was no all the Democrats riot. stood up and. There was no All the Democrats stood up outside. and said, we, we reject these. We reject this. This wasn't this wasn't like a fair election. This was BS. He, you know, we reject him as president. And Biden finally, after like three hours of this shit, was like, it's over. It's over. OK, Trump so think like one issue I, you brought up previously is like you're implying the idea that at the January 6th Trump speech, there was almost no turnout. Just because I was doing some research in the background. The actual New York Times puts the January 6th Trump speech at about 53,000 people on turnout. Okay. And the entire amount that the January 6th Capitol building riots is about 30,000. So in supply, that no, barely no, anyone that turned false. up didn't happen. That's insane. That is false. There were not 30,000 rioters at the Capitol. That is false. Estimates for turnout to the whole thing put it at 10 to 30,000. That is uh, 10 to 30,000? What the heck kind of rent? That's false. I've, I've heard, seen I've the video. Nowhere not, near that many people. People entering the Smithy, building with turn turnout. If you can't stop talking over people, I'm going to get other speakers to come on. You you're feel, feel free to speak, but um, from what I've seen, it's thirty to 40,000 people.
people outside of the Capitol and then like 2,500 people that went inside the Capitol. I've read a, a little bit less than that, but I know for a fact that it, it definitely not 30,000 quote unquote rioters. There might have been people in the vicinity, but not charged. Would you accept not the term protesters? Spidgy. Would you accept the term protesters? Protesters? I mean, how many protesters were there during the summer of love? What do you mean? I don't understand the relevance of that. I, I guess it's just the, the interesting thing to me is that, like, the entire plan is laid bare for weeks. Donald Trump wants to do a giant riot on January 6th. He says it's going to be historic. Everybody agrees it's going to be historic. They're protesting the election. Hashtag stop the steal. Okay. Trump is talking about how they need to pressure Pence to come through for them. Okay. He holds his rally like a mile away from the Capitol. He sends them all to the Capitol afterwards. There's a massive break in. Trump watches for three hours and does nothing. They delay the certification of the vote by, by, I don't know, anywhere from, from seven to 13 hours, depending on how you look at it. And to look at all of this and say all of this just happened to be an accident when everything seemed to go exactly as Trump wanted, except he couldn't get Pence to twist and, and bend to his will. I don't know how we can say it was all an accident. Like it was all super intentional. It all happened from start to finish exactly as, as, as he wanted it to. And when Trump had three hours to stop all of this by just sending out one tweet, like Ivanka Trump begged him just to add the word peace, peaceful. But like he he couldn't even do that. For three hours, he did nothing. And he just waited while this whole thing happened, while he was in his dining room watching Fox News while it happened. And he was calling senators to like force them to like switch their vote or uh, uh, have it like stopped. My hot take is Donald Trump is too incompetent to actually oversee his own insurrection. And America is thankful for that. <laughs> Okay, hold on. You say doing. that, but he was doing everything he needed to the entire time. They had a BS legal theory that was completely crafted out. They'd already falsified seven different slates of electors that they were desperately trying to get to Pence. They were already pressuring Pence through the media, through the administration, and then later on through the speeches that he, they were given during the ellipse. He had called all those people to January 6th uh, to the Capitol in order to go and protest. Like he'd done all the things that he needed to. It was just at the very end, Pence ended up not flipping. Stephen, I wasn't arguing that he didn't try and put everything in motion. I was just saying at the very end, he's a coward who couldn't follow through with his own insurrection. I wasn't arguing with you on that. Sure. I just sometimes I feel like people treat him a little bit too much with baby gloves. Where like I think if he had another <laughs> shot at it, I think he would choose people. Like I think he chose Vance because Vance said he would have gone through with the with the January sixth plot. I do agree he's a coward, but yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's the issue. I okay. Obviously, not American, you can hear in the accent. That's the issue I have with Donald Trump. I feel like any other person or politician in all of human history would be treated with any level of severity and criticism in regards to anything they do. But it feels like Donald Trump, Republicans and conservatives have this side moment where every single action he take is just, oh, well, that's just Trump. He's just that idiot weirdo on the sidelines. And we excuse every weird action and why like obviously the american system has its own issues on that but why is there no social unification on what the f is this guy doing the trump sycophants yeah. are too strong we, there was a, an attempt to get him out but we couldn't do it hey, right yeah Yo, how's it going? Sorry, I, I couldn't make today. I, I, I tweeted that earlier before. I just have to babysit. I have to pick up my uh, niece, but um, I don't know how long I have. But I just want to ask you, because recent, uh, recently you said if he had at least sent out a tweet for a peaceful... I know the tweet at, tw like, I think it was like 12 in on January 6th, when, when Trump did tweet out, remain peaceful, respect our men and women in blue. Did that not count? Um, are you talking about the 187 minutes or beforehand? Uh, no, that was, this was around like 12 PM. Uh, Steven, I know you have like a list of all, all the tweets and honestly, the point and, and look, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, I just want to be super clear on this. So the, the tweet that if you're talking about the tweet where Donald Trump tweets out and says, please support our Capitol police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful. That tweet was sent out at 2.38 p.m. That was an There was another one. I'm asking everyone in the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful, no violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Um, that one was done later. That was at 3.13 p.m. That was I see done it at 
twelve thirteen PST. Correct. Was so that's California time. So it would be three hours after. That's in EST. Yeah. When my my time would reflect. Let me see. I'm trying to see if there's an image or if it was like a live post. So like the it, image wise, I agree with what you're saying, by the way, when you talked about um, the fake letter sent out and everything. But wouldn't that be after the fact that in that moment, especially with the ballots, especially with the votes, oh, my God, jump for vo votes for Biden. What the heck? This election is stolen. If they truly believe that, would not would there not be some course to take if that's truly what he believed? even though people would say otherwise, you know, it's not until afterwards where courts dismissed. This is uh, what I would say. I think that there might be an argument to be had there, but then what we're saying is there was a reason to launch a coup slash insurrection. And then we can go that route, but you can't, I don't, people, not you, I'm sorry, I'm saying you, you can't let, or you, not you personally, sorry. One can't deny that an insurrection ever happened and then say, well, but maybe it happened because there was a really good reason to have an okay, insurrection slash coup. Okay, so let me ask you, so it was the insurrection, is Donald Trump, the one who did this insurrection or was it the people on January 6th is what I want to differentiate. I, I think that he I think that he led it. He instigated it and he led it to work to further the coup. So even though he said, OK, guys, remain peaceful. That tweet was taken down. Most on, people there, we, most, we keep saying say was he, nonviolent. He gave, he gave an Some over hour I long. He, he gave an who literally. He gave an over hour long speech at one point in the beginning issue of that speech. I think in the first 20 minutes, he says, I know you'll be remaining peaceful. Okay. okay he says so. that one time. He mentions fighting and pressuring Pence and voter fraud for the entire rest of the speech. Just but that who was, doesn't say that? That, well, that interpretation is very different. I've heard that. Look, I used to watch the only news I actually used to watch was all like CNN and stuff like that. And that's all the like talk I've heard. From I have that. never in my life, and I'm pretty confident that you can't cite a Democratic politician saying that we need to go and fight like hell, and then immediately afterwards, people march to a right, government building. Dude, there can, are tons of Goldberg examples of that. Tons. To Trump but name one. To beat Trump up and punch him in the face. But and, she's not oh, talking. She's not talking guy. to a... Literally, literally talking violently, but you're saying they would never, like, even as a metaphor, say, we must fight for our country. We must fight to end number one uh, to bring yeah, democracy yeah, n number one these people haven't backed it up with months of allegations of voter fraud that are unsubstantiated two they're oh, not they speaking to a crowd two they're yes. not yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not talking, the they're not talking, <laughs> they, they're not they, talking they, to they a literally. crowd of people that are ready to go and riot and number three this isn't working in conjunction with an attempted coup that he's already okay, got so planned out that he'd been working through the entire time if you if you think attempted coup was on everybody's mindset exactly in the capital it was that was a pretty failed coup if you're no, talking sure. about oh they got a pressure you know thing and most everybody that went was unarmed most people respected the capital most people who even went in and walked out got five years in prison i, I don't understand where here's the thing what i don't understand this is what i don't understand I'm, I'm not a fan of trump he wasn't my first pick what i don't understand is why people don't remain consistent what I mean about consistency. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, 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 not the, no, 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 hold on. I, I know that Republicans love to pivot to the amorphous BLM things. One topic, we can do a thing on BLM, like riots or whatever if you want. I'm not here to defend BLM riots. It, it but wasn't is, even that. But it is, it is a totally disanalogous thing when we talk about a president that's been lying to the country for months, that's been trying oh, 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 oh. to maintain power, that falsified electors coming from states, that encouraged people to go and riot at the Capitol, and that sat by for three hours in an, in an absolute dereliction of duty and watched after after Ashley Babbitt got shot after everybody in his cat. Everybody's begging him to tweet and tell people to stop. There's 50 million different people. Fox hosts his own son. Um, his, you know, his own daughter are tweeting and texting and begging him, like, please tell father to call these people off. And he's not doing it all. Why? This, there's no comparable situation here to a Democratic leader ever. There's nothing. Whoopi no, Goldberg that, saying something on The View is not comparable to this. No, that I, I'm not saying comparable. I'm saying that what you said is understandable. Yes. If there's people, Trump was at a position of, yeah, if he called upon all his like supporters, right, and they're there and he says, sorry, everybody, you guys overdid it. Everybody go home immediately after. He probably lose those supporters. He would look like, you know, what I mean, he was in a position where I understand if he had to kind of be more, I guess, forward pushing with his language and everything. Sure. If you want to argue, oh, it took him too long. Sure. I understand that. What I'm saying. What, what I'm wait, 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 just real quick. You can say your point, but because you're summarizing mine so ridiculously. If you want to say that he could have done something. No, no. Donald Trump was the guy. He was the head chain. He's the commander in chief. And he's the guy ultimately that could at any point in time pick up the phone and call 
to end what was happening at the Capitol. Okay. He could have made a tweet, so or he could have called okay. the National Guard. He had the power to do both of those, and he didn't so for no three one, hours. So no one else could have done anything, is what you're saying. Even though, even when Pelosi said, oh, why didn't, from the beginning, people expect, you know, maybe a, a bigger turnout or something and be prepared for it, where she even took responsibility of that. And because nobody knew, nobody knew what the Oath Keepers were planning, nobody knew what the Proud Boys were planning, and nobody knew that Donald Trump was going to rile people so up and send them me, to the Capitol afterwards. So you're telling me and the greatest not the president. in the world, the, the government, the Capitol, they couldn't possibly, they couldn't possibly prepare a little bit more for, I, I don't think for they, a coup I, that was about to take they didn't, a secret insurrection that was about to take place on our U.S. Capitol. They were just like, ah, you know what? On one hand, this is an insurrection that's so bad. They compared it to Pearl Harbor and 9-11. CNN anchors that break down fake crying as to, as to play up the severity of January 6th. You're telling me that's how severe this day was. But at the same time, the government was like, Ah, it's probably not a big deal. We'll just have a couple of state, you know, police officers chilling, and then afterwards we'll tell everybody to go home after some violent. Oh, yeah, our bad. But you know, if, if a slightly larger nobody crowd knew, came, nobody maybe knew. Maybe a couple more people that were no. armed. Yeah, they would completely. Nobody the knew. Everybody would be dead inside. Yeah, you can keep. Yeah, you're just repeating the same talking point over and over again. Nobody knew that there were going to be coordinated groups there to do break-ins, like the Proud Boys did initially. Okay, and right, nobody okay, knew that Donald Trump was did. going to send nobody, all of his people. People over to the White House, okay. So number two, and then number three, nobody, Dude, we uh, can, nobody we can deploy an aircraft carrier in 30 minutes. How long did it take for people to be like, Oh, this is getting a little out of hand? Maybe we need to call in some more National Guard, which Pelosi took responsibility of as well. Pelosi That's can't take know. responsibility of the National Guard, she's not in the chain of command for that at all. That's just not true. She said, Oh, we law. thought we, it was sufficient enough, but they, but they didn't know, and clearly, you know, nobody knew. And I take responsibility for not just. For them just not having prepared more is what she said. We have responsibility, and she was upset about that. Sure, they're trying to balance out. They're trying to balance out the 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 view because some people believe it or not. I know that the Trump guys don't, but some people do care about what democracy looks like and what voting looks like in this country. And the idea of having the National Guard there, standing shoulder and shoulder with rifles, you know, as the vote is being counted, is just that's an appearance that the United States of America doesn't really like to give to its voters. A very spooky appearance, and that was the thing that they were trying to avoid in the beginning. Now, obviously, in retrospect, oh, we can see that. That, I yeah, I know, I know. For those of us who care about democracy, it kind of matters. Um, yeah, yeah. The, in in retrospect, from... you could argue that it maybe wasn't the best idea, but again, nobody knew there were coordinated groups that were going to be trying to break through into the Capitol that day. Nobody was in the Proud Boy signal groups. Nobody knew that the Oath Keepers were, like, nobody knew that these groups were, were coordinating and planning in advance to break in. Except Michael Flynn and Roger Stone, Trump's friends, which were in the crowd that day and, and with uh, the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers the night before. But nobody's going to mention that. Uh, so, Rob, so, have so you, pretty much, have you, so pretty much Rob, I know you're, did. Rob, I, I know you're on like the attack mode here, but like, can you defend like the 187 minutes Trump did not act? Like people were breaking in, people were chanting, people in White House staff knew they were saying, hang Mike Pence yeah. in the middle of the 187 minutes. Why didn't Trump do anything? Why didn't what, he stop it? What do you, who, who's going to like send out a tweet saying, go home? He did do that. Yeah. Yes, he did do that. That's what I'm saying. You wanted him to do that earlier. Yes. Yeah. Why, yeah. why did he that, wait? That I agree. I'm like, he was watching yeah, he it live on Fox News. It, it, in, in, his, in, his in his position, in his position, with how the whole thing pretty much came forth, yes, there was that lack of time. Where yeah, he probably should have done. You condemn him for that. I'm not defending that. You condemn him. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not defending that. Yes, so I have a question. I have a question. Is that a yes? You condemn him for his lack of. Um, candor and protecting, or sorry, lack of responsibility and protecting. Sorry, I couldn't hear you say that one more time. Do you time. condemn him for the dereliction of duty, that he had a duty as the president of the United States, he had a duty as the commander in chief and head of the, the Federal National Guard to do something, and he didn't. He stood by and he watched. He made tweets after Ashley Babbitt had already been shot. He made tweets not telling people to leave. Right, that tweet of "I'm asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful, no violence." Why is he telling them to remain? He made that tweet yeah, at three thirteen p.m. No, he made that tweet at three thirteen p.m. That was two and a half hours after the restricted grounds had already been breached. It was an hour after the Capitol building had already been broken into, and it was thirty minutes after Ashley Babbitt had already been shot. All of this had been reported to Trump. Why is he making tweets telling people to remain peaceful there? Why wouldn't he tell them to go home? Yeah, I think I think it's because of his supporters. Okay, so do you condemn like him said, for his dereliction of duty there? Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. 
that's not my problem. It's really not my problem at all. Because like, look, I came. It should from, be your problem. Like, I came how from is it not your problem. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, it's a problem. Let me rephrase. It's a problem. It's not exactly the point I'm trying to make. Isn't it disqualifying for an executive, for the chief executive? Isn't that a disqualifying? You just condemned him for dereliction of duty. What are you talking about? Say it again. Isn't it disqualifying? Isn't it preclusive? Isn't it immoral to advocate someone who has such a humongous dereliction of duty that they allow something like that? Dude, I think they would have. If, if, this is the problem I have. I'm, tell, I'm saying it again. If. I'm saying if. I don't, know, I don't know exactly yes like, or oh, no. Oh, he just sat in the room. I, I is heard it like disqualifying? Disqualifying. Say disqualifying for what? Yeah, for the office of presidency. I mean, he wasn't. He, no, I don't, I don't mean Lee, just like in your mind. In your own mind, as a man. Say, I can't say it again, sorry. Isn't it disqualifying at, in your own estimation, whatever that is, that you as a man could vote for this person? D depending on the circumstances, now that's a little different. Because what th then I would rephrase that question to you. If Trump, say he wins the presidency right now, right? What I want to see, I, I literally, I I'm, I'm wondering if the goalposts are going to be moved, if the media is going to talk about something else. If Trump wins the presidency, apparently what's supposed to happen, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm banking on just because my entire life, this is all I've heard, right? What's supposed to happen is one, he's going to become a dictator since day one. Two, he's a fascist, and it's going to be. What does be, any of this know, have awful. to do with any of three, what's being he's not going to. He's, he's going to remain in power past four years. This is the three. This is these are three things shoved in everybody's face. None of this has to do with anything. About no, happen. it doesn't. He's already done. He's, the conduct that he's exhibited is already disqualifying, right? Like he's already done on J six in those three hours. What you guys would accuse Biden of doing by being senile, of falling asleep somewhere for three hours while the Capitol burns. Okay, and he's and he's failing in his duty to either send out a tweet to his followers saying go home or make a phone call and say I don't know what the f is going on, but the National Guard needs to be at my Capitol building right now. I'm the president of the United States. This is my territory. The commander in chief of the military is one of my most important jobs. Like, so, you so, know, for sure, when when Trump said that he offered the National Guard when things got out of hand, that was a no go. He did not offer the National Guard when things got out of hand. That is a lie. That's not it just true. couldn't be done. He so offered them beforehand. No, he didn't offer them no, before. And he brought them up awkwardly in a conversation with Miller saying, maybe we need 10,000 National Guard that are protect my people while they go protest. It was never a serious request. It was never put in through formal channels. It came up in a conversation once. That's but it. But why not? No one else could have done that. Because people didn't he's know what would happen. Chiefs. People didn't know he's that the Proud Boys were organizing covertly. The you, you Nobody said as knew if the Proud that Proud Boys was like a forty thousand person militia that was armed to the. Brick. They did not they didn't, know. They was they a did hundred. Know, right? They, they didn't need thousand militians. You don't need a like, hundred thousand militians. That we have video. The first people that broke through the restricted area were Proud Boys. It's on video. The first people that broke into the Capitol building were Proud Boys. It's on video. You saying we're, well, you keep saying we're Proud Boys. My whole point is, did, cool. what did are you not? Boys? The These the Proud Boys are an unstoppable force to the United States government. They don't have to be an unstoppable force. H hasn't it been conservatives that have said over and over again, 3%, 3%, you only need a small percentage of people to do anything? What, like, what do you mean? Do you think in a BLM actually, riot, no, if, if, you, if you go to a BLM riot and there's like 10,000 people there, how many people do you think are actually rioting? You know it's not all 10,000, right? Okay. Yes. So, so it's possible that without the Proud Boys being organized and doing those initial breaches, maybe it literally would have just been a protest where a few people so get how, rowdy. So so how many Proud Boys, you said, was in the video breaching? I think it was one to 300 showed up total. Th that's kind of my point. That's what I'm talking about. What is your point? I don't understand where, look, I, what I don't like, what I don't like, right? So if, if Trump said something, oh, by the way, we went to, you know, we went campaigning in California and this, blah, blah, and it was a lie. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a freaking lie. He's just trying to, like, showboat or get people together, whatever. It's only being lied, right? If something's not really conclusive, if some, there's a whole realm, too, about the, this administration and people around this mis administration where nothing from what I see is even conclusive to them. They've been lying every single, every other day I hear a blatant lie. There was lies I didn't want to even believe, even from straight from CNN where I'm like, oh, they wouldn't lie about that. I, I didn't believe it. What are you this talking is, you know, about? Are, you, where, are we talking about a specific thing here? I mean, you want to take well, a specific okay, let's statement? Take, let's let's, let's take talk January about a specific 6th. Let's take statement. January 6th. So yeah, let's take I remember. a specific statement. Let's talk about Trump real quick. So get past the election, right? Mike, Let, uh, I, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to be clear on this one statement what, what made by Trump. About a couple hundred I, I just want like, one Biden and the entire left. We're not talking about Biden. We're talking about Trump. They don't come out and say 
There's no such thing as having guns because you fear a tyrannical government. No one's going to come, walk, uh, you know, knocking on your door and taking away your guns. And you, you can't protect yourself from government because We're guess what? You need F-16s and tanks to take on the government. But this guy's saying, oh, 300 Proud Boys. Oh, they weren't prepared for that, guys. Let's take, one statement, of Trump's. Let's take one statement of Trump's on January 6th. Forget about the ellipse for a moment. Right. Just imagine that I agree with your farcical interpretation of that speech, but put it aside for just one moment. You agree because you cannot deny that by two or so, two eleven o'clock p.m., oh, capital had been breached. Okay, there had sure. already been violence deployed by two eleven p.m. Cops were being attacked. The uh, chambers within minutes were being evacuated. Pence was being evacuated. There was a near miss, and Trump was apprised of this. This is not deniable. Okay. At 2.25 p.m., Donald Trump tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which Look, they were asked yes, to previously yes. certify. USA demands the truth. So in that moment, when Donald Trump knows the Capitol has been breached, it's not a, like a question anymore. He's not at the ellipse. He knows violence has been deployed. He knows it's been used against police. He knows that Pence has been evacuated. He knows that the chambers are being evacuated and that they're in danger. In that moment, with the knowledge of ongoing violence, wouldn't you say the USA demands truth? And the entirety of that tweet is an explicit endorsement of the protesters, the rioters, the insurrectionists, yes or no? I would say yes, if you also agree that that's exactly how it was in the past to, towards Biden's administration. I don't it, have to uh, even for even for a more war worse effect because you can't you have to be consistent if that's what you're saying. I, I'll be you have 100% to say the exact consistent, same thing about. But do you, but are you willing to say uh, for, for, pretend I don't exist because but I will be able to beat whatever consistency test that you're providing? Are you willing to say that yes, that tweet was an explicit endorsement of all the violence and insurrection that was going on in that moment? Yes. You're saying because he said remain peaceful and it took no no too no long, this is that before that endorsement? tweet at two, two no no sorry no before then I would say no. Tweet, at two, so he didn't. He hasn't said the be peaceful tweet yet. This is 225. The Capitol has just been breached. Everyone's being evacuated. Cops are being attacked. Trump knows about this. At that moment, when he makes that statement, you think USA demands truth. Knowing everything that Trump knows in that moment, that is not an endorsement of what's going on in the Capitol. You're willing to say that no. Your position is it's not an endorsement? That because he didn't say anything? No, no, no. He said, Trump tweeted at 225, I'm giving you the timeline, that USA demands truth. This is with the knowledge that violence is ongoing. This oh, is with that, the that doesn't even seem relative to me, particularly to the riot. Uh, if how says, is it not if he says US We're talking about truth. Trump's no, state of mind. A, no, yeah, no, because if this is a moment in time, let's just say the roles were switched, right? It wasn't Trump, it was somebody else. It doesn't even matter, like, who else. But let's just say it was somebody else. And if they were, they if they truly said, "Oh my gosh, look at the You're situation. We were celebrating a victory, we're, we're and then about these ballots here. came in, and this happened. This election was stolen, and that's what they were going based off of." It would seem correct, especially if after the fact, if this was challenged and proved to be voter fraud, then everything what you're saying would make sense. Hold on, wait, wait, just wait, wait, just as a quick timeline. At two thirteen, okay. The Proud Boys member, oh Dominic God. Pizzola, breaks into the Capitol building with a riot show. That happens at 2.13. And the same minute, the Senate is gaveled into recess and Pence is taken from the Senate chambers. Okay? One minute later, we have video of rioters outside chanting, hang Mike Pence. Okay? There are multiple people that have testified that when Trump heard this, he said, Mike deserves it. Okay, at 2.15, okay, a minute later, we can literally see rioters running up the stairs, and then we see a cop the lure Trump them away. Hold on, hold on, what, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, stop. Like, what do you, what, I'm just reading facts. The fact that you're saying Trump derangement centers, I'm reading facts, like, summarizes your entire position, okay? Facts? One minute what later, I, saying, every, saying stop, let me finish, let me finish, and I can tell you the status, okay? One minute later, you've got rioters that have breached the second floor that are, like, 20 meters away from Pence and his family, okay? And then 10 minutes, and then 10 minutes after all of that, 10 minutes minutes the after all of win. that, 10 minutes after all of that, Donald Trump tweets, okay, after the break-in, after Pence has been evacuated, and after people are outside chanting, hang Mike Pence, Donald Trump tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones, which they were previously asked to certify. The USA demands the truth. You don't think that wasn't a tacit endorsement of the violence that was happening? 
Why? Why is, is we already if, had if the, at the January moment, 6th if at the clown moment they show truly committee. believe in what I, I said, what, yeah, what I would say so because one, even if fair. this was on the Democrat side, no, no, stop, say, what, yes, bro. Why do was, you have Democrat derangement syndrome? Just focus on just Trump. You don't have to keep going to the other side to try to like make your side. Why are we I'm, not, I'm not January going to this. Six, I'm literally saying what I would believe. I'm answering your question and I'm answering it as a whole. I'm saying regardless of who it is, because you keep saying Trump. I'm like, if somebody believed, if they truly believed this democracy was stolen, look at this example they have with the ballots, the the count. To, look, there was things leading up to it, right? The okay, so you think it was a coup long, and an insurrection. You agree with that. that? Fine, that's fine. If, You're justifying if, why he has a right if, to, if to lead a rebellion. Happened, if, okay. If the, result, if the result ever happened where, yes, there was voter fraud detect, detected enough, well, it doesn't have to be so much, enough that it did play a role in the, in the election, then yes, those things you're saying would make sense. Then those actions technically would be more justified regardless of the party. Yeah, you're justifying well, an insurrection. You're justifying a coup and an insurrection. That's what you're saying. You think that the election was stolen, so you're going to try to coup the fa the false government and lead an insurrection to, to support the coup of violence. <laughs> yeah, correct. I'm Thank you. Okay, that's fine. All right. Thank you. Was yes. it an endorsement of the violence? If it indeed was. Answer the question, Rob. Was it an endorsement of the violence was. or not? Yes. Okay. Yes, it was. What, what okay, violence? Good. What violence? So, wait, 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 hang on. What do you mean what violence? So, so you deny that there was violence on January 6th. You deny that. Dude, I, I don't. I don't. Yes or no? Do you ever. deny it? Yes or no? All right, guys, guys, give me a second. Give me a second. All right, Nick. Go I on. never. I never deny there can was I, violence. Can I have a? Can I have but a the, but that, that's the, this is this is the thing that I'm talking about. I, I even okay. said in my original tweet. Hold on. If, if this was vice versa and the Democrats did this, I would support the protest on January 6th. I will 100% report that. They'd be the first ones if Ashley Babbitt got shot. They would be screaming, uh, you know, again of the police brutality. Why didn't he just tase her? Oh my God! There'd be another a year of riots for Ashley Babbitt if they were on their side. But now they're like, oh, I'm glad she got shot and killed for trying to, you know, because she's a she's a terrorist. I'm like, if those people, liberal or Demo uh, Republican, if they truly believe, they were like, oh my gosh, look what happened! All of a sudden, the mail-in ballots after COVID, it, it took what two weeks to count everything oh there was a spike in ballots for biden after we were already celebrating for you know trump to win if that it's same situation happened for regardless hours. party and they truly thought the election no, was stolen Rob's, and there was Rob, questions don't forget then about I that yes. uh, fake water leak and they pulled suitcases out in georgia you guys are living memes i mean do you listen to yourselves talk Dude, I'm oh, saying I'm you, both sides. What are you just Rob, to be clear? Also, saying, just to be clear, wait on that on that on that the black case real that real you're real talking. Real that, real so to be clear, because you guys talk about edited videos, that story originated with a falsely edited OAN video. Raffensperger and every single person involved in investigating that in Georgia and the federal judge, okay, the district judge, uh, BJ Pack, everybody looked through that video. You can watch the full video. By the way, you can see it online. Not only was that all a lie and it was all fabricated. Last year in a court case, Giuliani admitted that it was a lie and it was fabricated, and his defense was. I have a First Amendment right to lie. That's why he lost that lawsuit. And that's why Ruby Freeman sued him for defamation and why he won. That's great that you don't know any of it, but yeah. he lied about it. He said he lied about it and all of it was a lie. And every single part, the state of Georgia, all the Republicans there said it was a lie. And the district court that reviewed it, the federal judge also said that it was a lie. And you can go and watch that full video right now. And you just repeated that. You just repeated that piece of fake news. I have no idea what that is. Look, of course what, what you don't. You only know, no, 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 you only no, no, know the hold lies. On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ruby Freeman, wait, if anybody here looks up Ruby Freeman, that is the Georgian election worker that was like, we're getting death threats and her mom were, uh, mom was getting death threats and there's people showing up to their houses. The FBI told them to like leave their home because um, there was so much activity at her house trying to uh, like, I don't know, do whatever, but like Trump verbally said on a phone call that she is a professional election fraudster and it was just a normal person. But this was another lie that Trump used to get a Georgian election, uh, Georgia Republican um, um, House of Representatives. No, maybe that was uh, Arizona. But like, th this is another lie that Trump spouts. You're about saying that Georgia video was to get fabricated. Do you we, have we evidence? Saw, look, fabricated. It, was, yes, it was fabricated. Yes, it was. Where's that evidence? The, the, the evidence list, is if you Google, of... if you Google, hold on, just real quick, Google Giuliani First Amendment right to lie, you can see that that was Giuliani's defense in his civil suit when she sued him for defamation. He said, I lied about it, but I have the First Amendment right to lie about it. That was the defense. He lost that case. True. Sounds good. I, I don't know what video that is, but... It was the video that it was the one about the fake ballots being pulled out of the black 
box beneath the table. It was the one about the woman running the the voting ballots three times. Um, and it also involves the story about the water main breaking and the, them closing the election counting area and then opening it later after kicking out all of the Republican uh, voter observers. All of that was sure, a lie. I'll, I'll all of that was I'll bullshit. I'll take your word for it, no problem. I've also seen, I forget which district it was when uh, that court case, when they talked about, they did find evidence of like multiple signatures, ballot, you know, it was like, I think a couple thousand ballots here and there. No, Look, I don't think so. Nothing, no, that nothing, didn't happen. Like, no, that didn't happen. No, that's not true. Nope, you just oh, okay. completely made that up. Yeah. This is gonna go nowhere. I'm out. Okay. See you guys. This was, no, look, what here, can I, can I just ask, just because specifically all you guys talked about, I know what you brought up with the timing and, you know, saying this wasn't exactly, okay, sure. It's the sole responsibility you're putting on Trump specifically. Sure, I get it. What I'm saying is the entire day, at least right now, from, from the Democratic side and the media, this is my, my biggest problem, my biggest gripe is the media. Would any of you, would any of you agree or disagree that the media, the way they report and talk about January 6th is not only blown way out of proportion, I'm not talking about, you know, Oh, look at the time it took Trump to I'm talking about the entire day. The event as a whole is not only blown way out of proportion, but they use it in a, in a way every single time to make it a, a tool for them to be like, this is what we have against the Republicans and we need to push it as far as it could possibly go. No, would you disagree? So if, or would if all you have to do, if you want to truly know what it was like that day, look at your guys' media before you realize that you lost. Because when you go and you watch hours of coverage, you can go and watch the whole uh, Alex so Jones' on, no, show. No, just, no, 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 don't tell me, hold on, you just asked me a question. If you go and you watch the conservative coverage that day on Alex Jones's stuff, where you had all the people that were walking around doing the interviews in the street, they were talking about, this is a revolution. Uh, you know, we're leading the fight for our country. This is the Dude, most historic day. That. This is the most historic day in US history. Um, when Ashley everybody Babbitt got shot, that. they were saying everybody she's the second she was the second victim or the first victim of the second American revolution. This is what they said when they thought they were winning. And then as soon as they realized that they lost, then it was like, well, hey, this was irrelevant. Nothing matters here. Actually, this was bullshit. Nobody cares. So the tone on it changed dramatically. But it was only after you guys realized that you weren't going to be successful in the attempt. Sure. Tone changed on Fox, whatever it is. That, I, that's great. You kind of still didn't answer my question. My question was, for, so, so you agree, you agree with, it was Kamala Harris, actually. You agree with her putting this up there as 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. Is that what you're telling me? Let's just say for one example. I think that it is in some ways it's not as bad because of the damage. And in other ways, in it's far worse. You have a president of the United States who was right. lying to the American public for months, who was trying to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power. That is one of the cornerstones for how the United States functions as a democracy. We can survive terrorist attacks. We've got a military we cannot survive a president cheerleading on the disruption of our of our voting process that we wouldn't survive that can, can i ask you something uh, all right that, that, that was think, kind of yeah, that was about it for me that's yeah that's really good i understand that you don't understand or appreciate anything about how the country works but like a million like al-qaeda was never a legitimate threat to the united Dude, states we, I, and our functioning I, I democracy two, donald trump kind of was <laughs> sorry if that affects came, you or that came, bothers you i came from that's two me. war-torn countries and communism so yes, I appreciate America. That's great. I seriously doubt. Well, yeah, sure. Where where did you come from that you're cheering on Donald Trump? I'm so curious. Tell me, please. Russia and Armenia. <laughs> you came from okay. So you came from Russia. You're looking at a guy like Putin. Do you think Kamala Harris or Donald Trump is more similar to Putin? Do you think Putin's going to respect Donald Trump or Kamala Harris more? Kamala Harris, because Donald Trump is an actual stooge. <laughs> Destiny, do you think the Maidan Revolution was? Oh my God. A violent insurrection that broke liberal procedure. Uh, I, I like that and, you're. And I like that you're broke. giggling and laughing when Donald Trump was a laughing stock in terms of foreign policy me? all have around the world, like foreign foreign actual foreign, foreign policy you, have you all around the world. By the way, no, no, just just as a so as a, as a quick thing. So in your mind, when you think of Democrats and you think of foreign policy, you're like, oh, these guys are weak losers. In Putin's mind, he's seeing Gaddafi getting by a bayonet, thinking Hillary Clinton, Obama, and the Democratic hawks had my friend get murdered there he's thinking putin is thinking of assad in syria okay potentially having that so, happen to him right these are the things that russia is thinking and you think donald trump the strong guy who got photos and saluted a north korean military okay the guy that goes on stage and probably couldn't find armenia on a map to be honest you think this is the guy that they're afraid of no you're delusional well, so let me ask you so let me ask you this how, how come as soon as you know biden was sworn in 
about like 20 some odd days later from satellite images, you could see Russian troops massing around the Ukrainian border. You think that was, was that decided in 20 timing? days? You think in three weeks they made the decision to invade Ukraine? Was that a, no, 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 was that a, no, Ukraine was always been the apple of Putin's eye. I know, Mercury, I know the history. It'll be your time in a minute. Hold I know on. the history between Russia and Ukraine. I'm just saying, was it just coincidental timing where the no, I think that they were. I think that they were. I think they were. No, I think they were losing the pressure that they were applying in the Donbass, and I think there was a Russian invasion that was inevitable. It was going to happen no matter who was president. It was inevitable. What, pre what pressure? Ukraine was putting pressure on the Donbass. You mean like little mil little scrummages? No, that the, that Russia wasn't having as much success in the southeast as they were hoping they would, and I think eventually it was going to lead to they had to do a full scale invasion. They threatened it. They were it was already on the table. They couldn't not come through with it. They had to do it. It didn't matter who the U.S. president was going to be. It was always going to happen. I still don't. I know the history of the Donbass and Russia. I know the people there. I'm just wondering what you mean. Do, do you think it was an they were, they were losing that, so the timing was just ever so perfect as soon as that happened. Which, by the way, if you if you if you don't recall, Biden did nothing in the first couple of weeks of the invasion. He said, "Oh, Putin's going to invade, and sucks to suck," and that that was kind of it. He got. What do you mean? He got. He got NATO together to supply weapons to Ukraine. There's nothing else we can do. What are we going to yeah, do? Yeah, literally bombing? after the initial invasion of Russia failed. <laughs> After the initial take of, of Kiev failed, yeah, then they saw, oh, wait a second, are they weaker than we thought? Maybe we, and in one country after another, I think it was Britain first, first started supplying little arms this, here and there to Ukraine. This, I'm talking about before this. This is becoming neocon versus neocon. And, and it's so perfect because the Democrats are basically neocons. Oh, oh this is yeah. some ways, I got where is my isolationist to tell us how all foreign you know, policy is evil in the United States? States. The other talking order, right? We're like, oh, Trump's and a laughing stock against other world leaders. He's a laughing stock. Have you ever seen his demeanor and the way he talks to other world leaders? Bro, Have nobody cares Russia? about this Have except you for Russian you guys. Nobody news? gives a f*** about his demeanor. Bro, his foreign policy was ass. He can't, he Dude, can't find any country Russian on a map. News? This guy's actual f***ing retard. Nobody respects Donald story. Trump on the world stage. Nobody did, bro. What are you talking about? Okay, okay, okay. Hold, let me. I'll challenge that. Nobody respects Donald Trump on the world stage is what you said, right? Correct. How How is it possible if you've ever, if you have ever watched European, Middle East, Asia, Chinese, Russian state telegram TV, if you've ever watched the news from 2008 till now, you would literally know that they are making not only Biden and America, it's the biggest la I, It's so bad. I'm genuinely embarrassed. Do you know how many foreigners who have escaped the war have come to Hollywood and have literally said, oh, my God, I want to go back home. <laughs> There's the news, the way they ridicule Americans, not just Biden. You understand Americans. that like every is single poll you can find is going to show you dude, that America this, gained this way more fact. respect when Donald Trump lost the election than when he won, right? You're not going to find anything that's supporting what you're saying, right? No, yes, nobody. I can. I can. I could literally. I can literally find 15 years of Telegram State TV. Oh propaganda. well, yes, I well, can. Telegram propaganda measures. Well, f me, am I bad? Okay, I, I wasn't no, ready to is, argue. This is that. the okay. news everybody watches. This mm -hmm. is what they show to their people. They mm -hmm. literally make fun of America in a ways you would not believe, including Biden. Mm -hmm. So I, I wonder where you're thinking, oh, Donald Trump was you, you guys are the trying to state. out Warhawk each other. Have now. you ever, have you this, ever this seen any other state TV media Dog, People besides were literally America? making fun been, of Trump the at the UN. Impossible. Like he's actually, he's Who's an actual made, retard. No, dude, the only people who've made fun of Trump is like parody individual organs here and there, mostly America. I'm talking about if you look at actual, like Putin, his talking heads in the state TV, Kremlin News. Have you ever, wa I've watched it for years. I've seen the entire change since like 2007 till now about who's a laughing stock. And a hundred percent fact, you're just wrong on this. There was not one smirk towards Trump. America right now, my even a lot of my relatives, which I have a lot of, and a lot of people surrounding me, they're not into politics. They're not into politics at all. They don't know what, they don't know anything. They legit don't know who to vote for. They're most likely not gonna vote. These people, walk around in sh literal shame where it's like i'm embarrassed of america from what they've been showing on tv that's that a really that's a cool story bro that's a really cool story i'm sure outside yeah. of america okay there's literally footage Dude, of like trudeau and and i think boris johnson like other people are literally like um or i don't think i don't know it's worse but it, it, it trudeau and other leaders are literally laughing about um like trudeau trump yes trudeau <laughs>
Yeah, Canada, the country that borders us, that's one of the largest trading partners that the United States has. Do you yeah, understand? I know Trudeau. Trudeau. Do you're you understand that how what you Trudeau just said revealed respected? how stupid you are? How how absolutely ignorant well, you, you are of U.S. politics? Trudeau. I know that you don't think the respect Canada. from Canada, like one of the largest trading partners, have, like a country that neighbors us, that, that doesn't matter? Boris Johnson was there as well, making fun of him too. Like this is on video, and this is just what we've seen on video. Like you're clueless, dude. So, so, you have no so idea what you're talking so you're about. Saying, you, so you're saying. Forget about China and Russian news. Trudeau made fun of Trump. That's what you're telling me? What do you think in China and Russia, do you think they fear Donald Trump? They fear more than Biden, 100 percent Really? Why didn't why didn't uh why didn't Putin oh, pull out of so Crimea? Why didn't Putin pull out of Crimea then when Trump was president? What did Trump do uh to Russia? What did Trump do to Russia? Are you, you just getting like an echo in here? Yeah, what did Trump, yeah, when Trump, when Trump was in, Look, when Trump when was in office, Russia yeah, was still occupying Trump Crimea for four years. Trump what did he do? Trump was set. You guys like the hearsay, right? Trump literally said of uh, of of red lines with Ukraine. You, Crimea was taken. Crimea started with under it was Obama. They maintained their occupation of Crimea under Trump. They yeah. didn't change anything. You're saying yeah, Trump set a red line with Russia? War. Nobody wants to get into a new war. Nobody wants any conflict like that. Trump maintained red lines. Trump kept that peace. I'm saying overall in general. That's what why was the red line that you think that Trump for said time. for you for uh, Ukraine? Trump. All Trump needs is is subtle threats against Putin for him to understand. Oh, it's all too subtle. Maybe, so there's nothing publicly. Yeah, you're just you're, you're delusional. This is Trump derangement syndrome. This is Trump derangement syndrome. I don't know, dude. It's in front of you of all the wars. And you I don't understand like what. Like, if your argument was correct under Trump, we should have had total disrespect and mockery of America. With we did have and disrespect we and mockery have, of America. Iran was brave enough to attack Saudi Arabia. They attacked the refineries for the first time in history. Turkey was brave enough to fly planes down and bomb all the Kurdish people that we've been working with after we withdrew from Syria. Assad continued to gas his people while Trump was president. That's why Trump bombed their airport so what do you mean nobody respected trump at all of this the palestinians had their massive oh, yeah. uh, great march couple, protest in 2018 2019 accumulated for, for for the respect like if, okay if well you, i just i get like north you, korea continued their icbm testing iran, iran continued their uh hurling towards nuclear weapons uh the palestinians continued terrorist attacks in in the gaza strip like all of these things still happen under trump you just don't know about them because you don't care because you're a partisan hack like nothing here no no, you're saying those conflicts were a, a lot greater than the current conflicts of today is what you're saying. I never said they were greater than, but all right of them now, were right building, now, right all now, of them Biden were building so to where more, we were today. So yes. More, so much more respected. All of that, them like, were building everything I'm seeing from yeah. even yes. foreign news. Oh, they're just ridiculing Trump, not Biden or America. I don't know what I can't it argue with your random telegram post, my dude. I'm sorry. Like I've got leaders dude, on I'm camera that are laughing and facts. making fun. No, you're not talking about literal facts. You're talking about telegram posts. I'm talking and, about the country itself. Right. The, the people oh, the country. The whole there. country is posting on telegram. Yeah. On, okay. Rob, Rob, dude, hold on. literally. Have um, you ever been outside of America? Step foot in Russia. Rob, ask about America. See how Rob, they respond. Okay. If anybody's and, listening, Rob, give me a second, Rob. Rob, seriously. If anybody is listening and hold they on are one, Trump one second, I got to pick up one second. Sorry, I'm listening. I got to mute my mic. Sorry, one second. I was going to mute your mic first. Okay, if anybody's a Republican and wants to join and um, wants to debate why they think Trump is better than Kamala, uh, feel free to request. Um, I was going to ask Rob a question, but uh, I have a question. So, do you have to be a Trump supporter? I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, not necessarily, but this is a debate. I, I don't want to just have a circle worker up here. Oh, I understand. Oh, I apologize. No, I'm 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 like in the middle, so I just want to make sure I can be up here. Anybody want to say anything? Well, then I well, will. Well, I do. Um, no, go ahead. So I was listening to what everybody was saying in regards to the insurrection. I don't believe that there are people who are trying to um, say that they support the insurrection, but I do want people to understand what exactly happened there because it is as bad as people are saying to the point where Capitol Police were indeed being insulted. You know, some people even pulled off their little gas masks to keep them, stop them from breathing. And when they went into the building, their whole thing was to find members of Congress because they had one plan. And that was 
to either seriously hurt somebody because of this election. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like it when people like try to downplay everything. I understand both sides completely. I don't think Donald Trump is 100 percent responsible because let's be honest, these are grown adults. They decided to march up on their own. <laughs> they should suffer the consequences of their own actions. But at the same time, he did say, we're, okay, we're going to go to the Capitol. And that's what started it. Um, that's that's actually my piece on that. But I wanted to add that part. Uh, I'd like to just say that something that Rob's point um, early on was that, you know, what if Biden had done, et cetera, et cetera. If Biden had done exactly what Donald Trump did on January 6th, the Republicans would not stop talking about it for the next two centuries. There would be a national day of mourning. January 6th would be a national day of mourning. And just to to, to possibly think that somehow Republicans wouldn't uh, obsess about this for all the rest of eternity, um, and it's just Democrats who are doing that, to me is absurd, ridiculous, and mind-boggling. And also during 2016, they some of them did indeed, um, indeed were against the election. Some of them did object, but it wasn't like January 6th at all. They wouldn't have done the same thing. Just saying. Destiny, keep fighting the good fight, brother. Yo, sorry, uh, I'm back. The one, yeah, sorry, I don't know where you guys left off, but the, the point I wanted to end on, on was the last thing I think that Destiny said was the fact that he... He's pretty much dismissive of countries like Russia and China and what they show almost on a daily basis on the foreign news. He's telling me, oh, who cares about that? But to, to his point, you know, Trudeau was seen making fun of Trump and Trump's just not respected. He doesn't care what's actually shown to the audience and what they think of them, the, the humor, the mockery of America, the absolute mockery of America. He says, no, nah, forget about that. Trump's the laughing stock. So, all right, I know where you guys stand. Like that's Rob. I mean, you can, again, you can look at any polling data you want, and all of it is going to oh show that. Oh my god, yes. polling data! They, they also said Hillary Clinton was going to win, and if you looked at polling data, I mean, I Hillary Clinton won the popular, the popular vote. vote. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah. This is crazy. You guys were obsessed with polling data. This is crazy. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Hillary Clinton was up so much. What happened? Ah, oh, I got to jack off on polling data again. You guys, uh, the, the Republicans were obsessed with polling data like three weeks ago. Yeah, true. I'm what not, happened? I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm Republican. <laughs> what the hell I'm happened? obsessed with polling data. <laughs> Every day was Trump's up, Trump's up, Trump's going to win, Trump's going to win, it's Trump's to lose. Now it's like, oh, f- polling data. What do they know? Oh, you want to you want to play this game, dude? The the side, the complete other side has been nothing but the, the exactly what you're talking about for how long? Tr- crowd size doesn't matter. Crowd size doesn't matter. So what if he drew eighty thousand people in one stadium? He's still gonna do at Kamala Harris. Well, do you look at Kamala Harris's crowd? Like, if you're gonna play this game, dude, we can go back. You know how many? It's countless, dude. The, the blatant lies I've heard from this administration We're is so about, blatant oh, and bad. Okay, I'm like, oh, I'm watching Russian process. propaganda. Wait, can you can you at least acknowledge that Trump lies? Well, there you go, dude. We can go back and forth with the most blatant lie. You want to talk about hijacking election? I no, think you, you're just so willing to accept the shit push, that Trump push, did on January six, but you just don't care because Democrats have done the same companies. thing. Social media companies and celebrities pushing the most blatant lies I've seen come from the Biden administration, especially before Twitter, when it was extremely left leaning heavily on the algorithm wise that was exposed. Wait, when really? Can you can you give me a single pushed, example of something that was the equivalent oh, of Elon Musk tweeting out a deep fake AI video of Kamala Harris speaking for two minutes? How, yeah. What example? What example do you want? You want one? Of, which one? Just give me How, one specific example without being vague and broad about it. One, spe- one specific example. As soon as Elon Musk revealed the Twitter files, as soon as he literally did this, he goes, watch the attacks from the left. Come on. In. OK, I expected that, too. As soon as we saw, like, even the algorithm that people tested out was like 99 percent leaning towards the left, right? Not only promoting left channels to like new um, users, all that stuff. When he said before this, right, as I followed him a long time before the acquisition of Twitter, when he said, this is one example, I'm giving you one example, I, I can give you like four, uh, 10 more. I'm still waiting when for the one said, example, yeah. Twitter will remain neutral, right? He said, you can find this tweet. He said, Twitter's gonna remain neutral. This is what he said. Okay. And I said, yes, this has to be done. What happened afterwards when he said, hey, Maybe the country's too heavily Democrat. Maybe a house full of Republicans would balance it out. What happened? He got attacked literally 
every single news media outlet called him a hypocrite. He got attacked by every Wait, single celebrity. Wait, that just sounds every accurate, news, though. If he said it was going to remain neutral, what, and then he says now it's going to be Republican-leaning, then calling what. him a hypocrite is not— He said neutral because he was talking about, if you look at the a specific thread, it was about the algorithm in many instances of Twitter accounts that was heavily favored towards only pretty much the left-leaning side. He said this will remain. He said this will be neutral. They mistook that as like, oh, he meant uh, so everybody on the platform has to be neutral about what side they support. So when he came out saying, oh, maybe a House of uh, you know Republicans would be good, everyone called him a hypocrite when he was talking about the algorithm of the actual platform. But that single lie discovered. Okay, wait. What is the single lie? Wait, wait. So who told that? What is the example that we're giving? Press. What is the single lie? Who said this? Elon said this. No, no, no. Who lied about him? What is the lie about him? Oh, that he that he's a hypocrite. No, no. Because Who said it? Who specifically? What literally article? Literally everybody. Liter okay, well, I didn't. So now you're wrong. Boom. I win. Oh, my gosh. OK. Literally. I mean, all right. right. Wait, wait, wait you can't think of a single. I gave you a neutral. specific example a few weeks Dude, ago. Go Elon Google Musk right now, tweeted you'll, you'll out. No, I don't like need to Google. This is your argument. I'm not going to do your work for you. No, I'm not going to do your work for you. OK, so you want to you want to say a CNN article? There you go. That's one. OK. Philip, the view, almost every uh, every anchor, literally almost every liberal anchor on the TV, they literally like, oh, Elon Musk, what mm -hmm. a hypocrite, like John. So Luke, just for, every single yeah. person. So for people listening, if you want to be able to pick out a liar very easily, they never give specific examples. They always I live in this nebulous. You Philip did it. You said Philip DeFranco, the view and CNN. That's what you said. Okay. You're not giving it. And this is only after I pushed you. Now you give me Philip DeFranco, which is a name. OK, so I guess now I have to go and what? Try to build your argument. I did go. I have to Google Philip DeFranco, Elon Musk, neutral platform and try to find the video and then find the line. And then see, like, you, you haven't done any groundwork on this. What th what this tells me, too, is that you didn't watch this lie happen. Oh you heard gosh. another content creator Dude, tell you this was a lie. You don't even know what you're talking about. This. Dude, I can I can pull up a million in your face right now. But you couldn't I name I one when I asked. That was the issue. I did name you. I said John Oliver, CNN, literally every. Oh, now article, we're doing John Oliver talk, too. Goes, All of them. Philip Jesus. Frankel, every YouTuber left, literally liberal leaning, literally said he's a hypocrite because look at it. Every single this dude, this was shared all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over Twitter. He's a hypocrite. Look at these tweets. First, he says Twitter's gonna remain neutral. Now Tell me he what says, I need to. What do I need to find? What do I need to find? Okay, for the Philip DeFranco video. You can go to his channels, uh, probably just search Elon, and it was back around this timing. So the timing was around um, after the acquisition, uh, after he tweeted Republicans. Uh, a Republican majority in the House is not bad. It was, it was right around that tweet. Dude, this is like, I can't believe, like, whoa, we're going to, you think this is some sort of like esoteric thing that you, you have to find? Apparently I, it I is because find, you can't give a I single solid example. example. Yes, that does make it's it esoteric everywhere. and nebulous. It's Correct. Everywhere. It's old, so you're going to have to like look it up. It's everywhere, though. Look mm -hmm. it up. It's I'm literally sure. everywhere. I'll bet any money on this. Like I, that was all I watched for like an entire week was this flame on Elon. I'm the guys sorry. that I'll denying watch. as if like Elon doesn't get flamed every single day by literally every. The guys. No one here is arguing about whether or not Elon harassment. gets flamed. He should get flamed. He's a f***ing joke. The question is whether or not people <laughs> lied about what he okay. said. And I asked for a specific example, uh, and, and you couldn't give me one. So now I have to go and try to find the video to support you your argument. I literally gave you one. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it as every single media piece came. I couldn't escape it. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm not a, I'm not someone, dude, I'm not someone who sits down and like, you know, watches like 10 talk show hosts. No, I understand. I'm you get it all from Tim like Pool, Guardian, Dave Rubin, Glenn Greenwald. Everyone. Don't worry. I know you got your, you don't have to watch everybody. There's a couple that give you exactly what you want to. Exactly I actually don't watch hear. any news, to be honest. I actually watch more foreign news just to get an insight of what they talk about than the news here. Mm-hmm. Rob, uh, whenever we were talking about January 6th, have you like read any of the January 6th documents? Which one? The one from, that uh, Trump said all oh, the, the from fake the committee hearings where this. it's all organized and they have a list of the, all the I, I briefly, I briefly skimmed through the, the timeline one, yes. Okay. So you just briefly skimmed through just the timeline? I mean, there was a lot. I didn't read every single piece of like... Nancy Pelosi makes a call. The chief of staff says maybe we should get some. Yeah, like Nancy, I, I, Nancy I know. Pelosi's call is not in the, in the committee hearings, but no, okay. I'm just saying the timeline of events with like the time it, it took place. Yeah, I, I've seen. Wait, so if you know that. the time, but there wasn't even that wasn't even my initial like. Could I uh, encourage you to actually go and just read it for yourself? Yeah, oh. I'll, I'll read it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you know the timeline, though, you just said I, I thought I heard you say, and I just want you to affirm it for me because I might have heard you wrong. I thought I heard you say that you agreed that it was a gross dereliction of duty. That's correct, right? No, not a, yeah, but not after you said 
um, I think. Yes, right. The answer is yes, right? Part. There's a second part where you said, yeah, like, yeah, that's the first part. If, yeah. if there was fraudulent de detect activity during that time, yes, it makes sense. Well, let me like, just see if I'm, I'm, I'm capturing your opinion correctly. What you're saying is, if there was a stolen election, of course I would, you know, I would support what the rioters are doing. Is that fair, what you're saying? I, I would agree uh, with that, right? Yes and no, not not the specific rioters, no. Uh, as far so as the if the election were actually stolen, you wouldn't agree with, As like, far as the protest, Mike Pence, Trump waiting, he said, hey, this is, what the heck's going on? I agree with that, yes. Not okay, the rioters, but, but, but do you, not actually Babbitt being shot. But do, but do you agree that Trump, just Trump, right? Trump had a gross dereliction of duty, fair? You, I thought you had said that. Because there was this big time lag between when he acted. If, if you're already concluding that, oh, this was all a, a fake, there was no possibility, uh, no chance of you, in a, your a rigged opinion, election. In your personal opinion, carrying all of your priors, do okay, you I'll, believe... Okay, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. If at, in that moment there was absolutely no fraud, then yes, correct. Well, no, but yes. I'm asking you your opinion with all of your priors. I'm not asking you to get any other priors. So just you, Rob's. Do yeah, dude. In, in that moment, in that moment, I didn't know for sure. I didn't know for certain if people were if people genuinely believe, no, dude, this I'm election is rigged right and this, this thing was dude, stolen no, no, from no, them. I'm not asking Go your ahead, opinion protest. about this. I'm not asking your opinion about what the election was stolen. I'm asking you right now, as you sit here, it's um, you know the 12th of August, 2024. Do you believe, with all your priors, that Trump had a gross dereliction of duty on January 6? Yes, more so based on the facts of what we know that came out now. That's what. Okay. I'm okay. So uh, that number two, I, yeah, I, I agree that that was your position. I just wanted to make okay. sure. Number cool, two, cool, cool. before Sorry. I had showed you, uh, we'd walk through the. You mentioned the timeline, right? We had yeah. walked through the timeline, and uh, Stephen had mentioned to you, and I think you agreed that twelve minutes prior to a tweet that we were talking about, um, the Capitol had been breached, chambers had been evacuated, Mike Pence was on like the retreat, police were being attacked, and Trump knew about all that, and in that presence of that knowledge. Trump decided to tweet, America, USA demands the truth, and Mike Pence didn't have the courage. I thought I heard you say that that was an endorsement of the actions of the rioters. Was that correct in what I heard? No, I, I'd say that's it's pretty mixed because okay. if Why I if I say that if I say that that's true, I would all, there's way too many examples in the entire country coming from Republicans and Democrats where. Every language of we must fight for our democracy could be the reason why someone went and shot up someone. Up. You know what I mean? Hold on, wait, wait, just real quick, just real quick. I just want to do a quick magic trick. Hey, just curious. Can you name one where during a violent event was happening? Not not like in a, in a whole summer, but in during one violent rioter event was happening. Can you name one instance where a Democratic lawmaker tweeted out anything that was like supporting or encouraging that violence? A lawmaker? Yes. Like, for you know, what? like what you the like, like somebody oh, in Congress. Mean, like, well, I mean, Kamala Harris, like, didn't he vouch for like bailing out people that were arrested during the protests you mean like that that's you not agree that that's removed in time and space and relates to completely legal activities that is bailed you know there are people who some people who like support getting rid of bail altogether dude there are people that there are people who died during riots where other people came that. out and said they support that because it's for well, a greater other cost. people regardless of whether or not you think there's a double standard you could say that yes he did encourage this and yes kamala did or Kamala did encourage this, but I'm asking you in your own vision, right, with your priors about what these things were. Like, I'm guessing that you believe. I no, Kamala I don't say was, no. You're asking me personally. No, I wouldn't read a tweet like that and be like, "Oh, now is the time for me to go in with my two revolvers and take out Mike Pence." No, I wouldn't interpret it that way. What That's about what the fact that, that so many excitement. people that were convicted did feel that way? Okay, that, that's their problem then. They shouldn't have done that. You think it's just random that Donald Trump told people for for weeks that Pence could do Dude, it, could overturn the election. That, they, and during his speech, he said they needed like, to pressure Pence to do the right thing. And then when people went and they were saying, hang Pence, and they wanted to find Pence, and they were saying, bring out Pence, that when Donald Trump t tweeted that Pence failed, it's just a coincidence that people wanted to grab Pence? That's just a coincidence? It's unfortunate that nobody could have foreseen Dude, that happening? I'll tell you this. That tweet probably wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway. For the fact that You're if you've been to answering. any liberal, if you've been to every any and now liberal we pivot rally, to the liberals and BLM I can literally, stuff. Okay. I can literally film a bunch of people saying "murder, murder Donald Trump" without the help of the media or a Biden. Really? That's are any I'm of sure. them are are any of them out there doing it? Are any of them protesting or rioting oh, in the, the Capitol building doing it? Maybe? You mean the Possibly? guy? Wait, that guy was a Republican, wasn't he? Oh, okay, yeah, he was registered to vote as he must have been, huh? 
You're oh, I'm sorry, hold on. You're telling me if he was registered as a Trump? Democrat, you wouldn't be using that as an example of, of Dude, him so being a Democrat? I could, I'm, I could register as a Democrat That's right That's fine. Now. Do you have any evidence that that guy wasn't a Republican? Do you have any evidence he absolutely was? I, absolutely. That's not how evidence works, right? Evidence inductively builds us towards believing a particular oh, thing. Here he we was go. registered as a Republican. Here we go. You mean the same guy that like, released no information let's about, like no investigation, run, run, no run, more social media? All let's stay on topic. Guys, let, but guess what? Let he was a Republican don't let Stephen distract Trump you. supporter that wanted to kill Trump. He's trying to bully you. He's trying to bully you. He, don't let him distract you. For sure, dude. Come on. Props, props. Don't, don't let him distract you, right? Let's stand What's up? Like, dude, let's be consistent. Yeah, yeah. He's ridiculous. Let's be consistent a little bit. He's ridiculous. So, would you agree? Agree though that Trump, he was trying to put the the Congress people in fear, right? Like he was trying to intimidate them a little bit, right? Sorry, hold on. Yeah, yeah. put the Congress people in fear, maybe. Probably, I don't know. I you think maybe or like it's probably like if he's if he knows that they're all. Why, being, like, it's so scared. funny. I don't understand, dude. Yeah. The, when you guys talked about January sixth, which I, I no, it wasn't you actually. It was mostly Destiny who said. Uh, in some cases, it was worse than 9-11 and, you know, Pearl Harbor. I, I, I get it. If, if that's where you're coming from, there's not really going to be a grounds here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just what I'm coming questions, from is right? this is blown out of proportion so much that that's, 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 all, that's all I've heard for in a way that, like, this attack on our democracy somehow with 99% of uh, unarmed people was about to literally overthrow and end our government as we know it. This is what I've been hearing my Do whole life. you agree life. that it was an attack on, on, on democracy? I mean, the, the crowd there, what could they do? Yes no? like, what are they going to go yes in? Wait, no? wait, what did, they did do something. No, no, like, they oh, delayed the certification of the vote. Democracy. They did do it. They accomplished their mission partially. They delayed what, the certification. Delay it? Do, do, you, do you agree that they did that? What, delay it? Yes, I delay the certification well, sure. of the vote. Can yeah. you think of I'll one other time in, in U.S. history where the, where the certification of the vote was delayed by angry rioters outside? Dude, the, the counting of the ballots the answer is was delayed no. too. What do you want? No, they wasn't that? delayed. Now, what do you mean? They counted the ballots just as they were supposed to. Everybody knew that it was going to take a while to count those ballots. We're, ba we're back in the Stone Age now? Like, just because of, like, one nuance that happens? You're like, oh, this is what proves that, like, this event was actually so one bad. One nuance? The, end of the delaying from, of the certification uh, of the vote because Donald Trump didn't accept that he lost the election? You think that's just a tiny nuance? To be honest, I think deep down he, he knows he technically just lost the election, but he's still playing the whole role. Oh, cool. Like, then you oh, agree no, with no. me that he was lying as well. Oh, Thanks. Uh, also, thank you. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you that. agree that it was an insurrection. Thank you. Yeah, Pisco. You're right. No, yes, you agree that it was an insurrection because they had the justification and you agree that he lied about it. Holy shit. So it was, in a way, worse than 9-11 and worse than Pearl Harbor because none of those involved the U.S. president telling a lie to its citizens to destroy democracy. Those were all external attacks. This was one coming from within. Thank you. That was really bad, Roz, what you just said. You know what you just said? You just said that Trump knew he lost and was trying to remain in power anyway, and you still might vote for him. <laughs> you understand you just said that? Also, not might vote for him, but we'll definitely vote for him, just to be clear on that. Ah, oh, he might vote for RFK, actually, maybe, yeah. A lot of silence, Rob. He had to go to Telegram to get his next set of talking points from the Kremlin. <laughs> nah, the Elon Trump thing broke, broke everything for a while. Oh, wow. <laughs> the spaces that Elon and Trump did? Yeah, it kicked everyone, half of the people out of this one. I got kicked out of this one for like 10 Yeah, minutes. I saw that. I've been getting a lot of messages. Um, it's been pretty laggy. I, did, you, I have like, I don't, did nobody hear what I said just recently? No. Yeah, it's a lag. I said, I said I can't do what you're doing, especially putting words in my mouth. I said at the time when you asked me now, the knowledge I have now, obviously it's different. I'm saying in that moment, in that space and time, with every action being taken place, when if people knew, oh, look, after the fact, like we, you know, after the fact of voter fraud, the court cases and everything, you can't use these future outcomes to go back to January 6th and be like, oh, yeah, look, everyone's there for a, a fake reason. You At the believe, moment, if you yeah, think you the election you is stolen, was stolen, those actions... Wait, 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 sorry, sorry. You, you said deep down you believe he actually thought he lost the election. I'm saying now, I'm saying now today. You think that his Pre previously, no, he'd be fully convinced that this election was absolutely stolen. Wait, 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 wait. what is At your that evidence? Moment, at that time. Wait, wait. 
So, you, so you believe that he was honest? Are you, are you going back on this now? And you're saying that you thought that he was oh my God. actually mistaken? No, no, hold on. Let me clear. Okay, let me clarify. In the moment of January, on the day of January 6th, no. On the day of January 6th, I, I'm pretty sure he did genuinely think this whole thing was stolen. It, there was, you know, it was rigged, you know, there's things going on. No, I'm saying okay, but today, today he does, right? I'm saying today. All right, right, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but, but, but I don't want to take wait, the wait, I, I say, of today I, to justify, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, because the election, enough. you know, was. Fair enough. But wait, wait, Ross. You're you're making that clarification. Thank you for that clarification. And so what you're saying is for sure. back then he didn't know that he lost the election, but now he does know that he lost the election. I'm but saying he's, in my opinion. Wait, 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 wait But now he knows he lost the election, but he's spreading the lie that he won the election anyway, and you're gonna vote for him, right? I actually don't know if I'm gonna vote for him. I wanted to Vivek, funny enough. But you, you just said he knows he lost the election and he's continuing to lie to the American people every single day and you're unsure if you're going to vote for him. I'm unsure? No. No, I, I'm, th I'm saying in my opinion, there's probably a part of him that, yes, he, that genuinely he might have just lost. So now that you're he, going back on what you're now saying. Now that you're he knows. Spineless the lies, the lies of the American doing. people, sure. If that's something he's peddling where... Look, this election was stolen from us. Yeah, that's his. That, that's a lot of what a lot of his base thinks. So if he if he said no, absolutely, isn't that it, it shameless? Was, isn't that evil? Uh, I could think of a lot more shameless. I'm not asking what you can think more shameless. Right. Yeah, I can think of things that are more shameless and more evil. Isn't that evil? I don't know if it's evil. I would just you say lie it's to more the of people and say you you won an election that but, you lost. Isn't that evil? I uh, evil. I don't know. No, what else could be evil if not claiming I, you won far, an election that you lost? Worse. I've heard far worse. Just because something is worse doesn't mean that's the not evil. The media, the influence of this administration, Why are you blatantly pivoting? lying to people like on the daily, I think that's far worse. Is the president Especially lying? The president so lying? Deaths. The president lying about winning an election? Is that not? If that's not evil, isn't this one of the most important parts of being the president? Is the peaceful transfer okay, of first, power? First, first of all, yeah, I said there's a chance. First of all, if he was, if, if he chance, was, yeah, he would be evil. That could be. Huh? If he was lying about it, it would be evil, right? Uh, evil is a, a pretty strong word, but oh I wouldn't God. say definitely lying about it. That's, that's why I said in the beginning. You said deep down you think he believes he lost. Yeah, he could, yes. Even, could? If he, even if he does. No, you've realized what you've done by admitting what everyone knows to be true. Oh, first, you tried, first you tried to limit the damage by saying, oh, no, no, I just meant after. Then you realized that did nothing to cure the problem. And that the fundamental problem is that, yes, all of us believe that deep down he knew he lost and he's lying. And it's one of the worst things that American president can do is to tell the American people that the election was stolen when it wasn't. And when so, he knew okay, it wasn't. Let me look. The, here's here's a way I, I genuinely think they stolen. The way it was stolen was everything leading up to the election as far as the media and what social media accounts pushed. The entire that's, that's how, you don't understand gonna, how many voters gonna, there like, are, including that a hundred percent it was stolen a hundred percent you know what i'm referencing you know what he's referencing he's well, talking about it. illegals voting he's talking about fake the voter ballot. ballot the voter That's ballot i'm not about. even certain of myself because i've heard a lot from both sides do you believe the election was stolen or not any evidence if he had any evidence why wouldn't he just take them to court why wouldn't he sue <laughs> Did he not take some evidence to court no yeah but he lost 60 like one out of like the 62 Okay, so let me um, cases. let me let me ask you this, just because I'm just I'm, I'm very just curious. These court cases, is it everything you guys looked at in detail and deemed there was no possible chance? Because we looked at them year, in detail. Yes. Uh, every year after I think it was like, sorry, once I'm trying to juggle so many things at once. Every year after, um, I think it was the rise of uh, 2020. The only thing I heard was injustice in this country. Number one. Uh, the court system, the corrupt judges, no fairness. Our legal system is broken. That's that's all I've heard. But then when like Trump faces trial of hush money, everyone all of a sudden turned to no. There's no possibility of a slight bias in our court system, which is why I say like, where's the consistency? Can you educate me on that? People in 2020 were wrong about stuff, and mistakes were made. I mean, you're talking to people. One, Stephen, who in real time was critical, highly critical of some of the statements, both defund the police, um, some of the most more radical statements about uh, injustice and in prosecution of various people. So, I mean, 
yes, you're going to find idiots all the time. And on in, during 2020, there were a lot of dumb people who were misguided, a lot of dumb people who were malicious, a lot of stupid arguments. I, that is not a basis for you to debase yourself by supporting or possibly supporting about or like being cute about supporting someone who knew they lost an election and claimed the opposite. That, that Rob, That's just I, I, Rob, I've, I've heard all of the same talking points that you're espousing. I've looked at everything. I desperately tried to find anything that would suggest that there was a large scale like election fraud. Every claim that Trump has ever made, like on Twitter, turned out to be not true. Georgia, Arizona, the, the 60 lawsuit, the 62 lawsuits that he filed in December or, or November or whatever it was, they, they all failed. In, in fact, like Rudy Giuliani, uh, uh, Sidney Powell, Trump's lawyers have been like completely uh, decimated in court. The the whole hammer and um, the the, uh, the whole hammer uh, uh, satellite conspiracy where the, the the satellites were changing the votes inside of the systems, like. All of this has been brought up in court, and there, there isn't a shred of evidence. Not to mention, most importantly, you will never find an example on the left of anything that reaches even close to the egregious lies that Fox News told about the Sidney Powell voter fraud. No, they were the same claims that you're repeating right now. Fox News hosts were laughing at you and making fun of you for being stupid enough to believe them while they fought to maintain your viewership that they were losing to other liars like OAN and Newsmax. That's what came out in the emails. That's what came out in the text messages. That's why they settled with Dominion before it actually started in court for the largest defamation settlement in all of corporate history in the United States of America. You will never find anything on the left when you're talking about lying like that. And those lies that Fox News was doing, that was because they were trying to keep up with the alternative media that could lie with impunity. They were trying to keep up with people like OAN and Newsmax. And they were laughing at you the entire time that you believed these. Yo, Rob, Destiny. everything you said just a moment ago oh. wasn't like, they, they were all just opinions you got from uh, alter, uh, uh, alternative news media sources on the, on the right that don't do any journalism themselves. They just have opinions on the mainstream media. Yo, Destiny. Yeah. Can you hear me? What? All right. Yeah. All right. Um, first of all, big fan of you. Uh, not really a fan of Rob. But in fairness, I do want to talk about one where the media did, uh, I won't say lie, but lie by omission about Trump and then just totally turned away from it. Uh, NPR, when the whole Russian gate scandal and uh, the Mueller reports came out, uh, they, they was going hard on Trump. And one of the things that they did do was have shift um, on NPR 26 times. Um, and I can uh, tell you where the report is. It's, um, it's in the free press. Uh, but 26 times they had shift on as a guiding hand on what's going on. But once the Mueller report didn't show any type of like real proof, they just sparsely. That's what they use. Sparsely. Sure. And I, um, listen, and th it's possible to criticize people for getting things wrong. But you know what you don't have no. from NPR? You don't have any evidence that behind the scenes they were like, ooh, we know this is all bullshit. No. But let's keep bringing him on to sell the same fucking lie to the people over right. and over again. That's true. But what they did was not say, hey, look, we messed up. They just completely abandoned that whole thing and found something else to go on. What's the false statement that you're identifying right now? Uh... Not really a false statement, but false actions of having Schiff guiding uh, a false NPR. action. When you say false action, what do you mean by that? All right. All right. If they had Schiff on uh, like five, six times saying, updating what's going on in the in the Mueller report, that'd be cool. But 26 times and guiding them to different types of. Uh, well, wait, did he even lie about anything? Do you know the substance of, of the thing that you're identifying as false? Do you know what? Okay. What you're identifying as false. Hold on. Yes, no, I right, don't know. Yeah, if you don't know, right, then we can identify this. Right now, I can, it's in the free press. The the whole thing, the whole write-up. And right now, I'm at, I'm working. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about in fairness. Uh, Yuri Berliner um, in the free press said, I've been at NPR for 25 years. Here's how we lost America's trust. This is his report. He was a senior editor for NPR. And he goes into the whole story about how this happened and everything changed. Um, I heard it like around May 
Um, but to go back and reference, I'm working, so I can't just give you offhand the exact thing. I can try to complete it for you if you want. So there are a lot of people who will, who in the before the Mueller report was released, I hope that's what you're referencing, um, would like yeah. hype up what they expected to see. That they were like, oh, we're expecting to see that Russia or that you know Trump was engaged in a criminal conspiracy with Russia related to the email hack or something like that. And to the extent that there was like a lot of feeling that, or implications made by certain people in positions of authority, that it was proved that like Trump was a Russian agent, that was pro that was wrong for sure. But right. a lot of times when people are trying to identify like the false statements, usually they're taken out of context or they're catastrophized. Were there some things wrong about the narrative of Russia? Yeah, but there was also a lot of reasons to be suspicious, skeptical, um, curious about what Mueller was going to come to. And just because right. people were uh, like, I, I recall vividly people like Rachel Maddow and others being like very anticipatory and kind of giddy for the release of this information. Um, and, but, but I don't recall them making like completely false statements about what has been established yeah. or not. Right. Okay. And I was, I will say this, I will say this, uh, again, I can't go over and read it cause I'm working at Amazon, but, uh, but one of the things is, is that with them, it's not as going to be, it's not as overt with um, like how the MAGA people are overt with all the bullshit that they talk about. But they, NPR was leaving. Are you okay? Did he just say he's working at Amazon right now? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got a phone call. But yeah, I was saying that they was leaving a lot of insinu um, insinuation and people to infer that this is a big possible thing. So no, it's not as blatant. But with them being a public radio station, with them having journalists, with everything else, that is kind of on the ilk of um, messing, uh, totally just not going with journalistic intention. Well, uh, you know what I'm saying. Even if Sorry, we accept your version, right? And and there are some there's some truth to your version, right? Even right. if we accept it, though, what happened after Mueller released the report and the facts oh, were made clear? Up. People they were a lot more conservative about what they were willing to say. I mean, you, you sometimes still hear people today being very outlandish or will say, you know, Trump is a Russian operative, kind of a tongue in cheek a little bit, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, no. that kind of thing. But people change their mind in response to evidence. It's right. not what you see with respect to some of these fraud, like election claims, where, and this is the part that really tickles me all the time. I watched Mitt Romney's speech right after, um, or you know, right after the insurrection where he says, you know, what they were asking for us to do was like a congressional audit. Not everyone was asking for that, but like a lot of people were saying Congress should audit the election. Do you think that these insurrectionists, that Trump, that anyone was going to believe any audit that came out of Congress? You're laughing. Oh, no. You're laughing, right? Like, so that is yeah. what to me is so damaging about all this. Is yeah. Nothing would have convinced these people. No, man, I, I also agree with you. I was just, in fairness, um, he asked for one example. I was just bringing up one example. I, I truly believe that uh, most of these conversations with people that say that they're centrist, but, you know, they keep defending Trump, they're not going to see any point because either they have some type of agenda or they're completely stupid. Bye, Rob. Hey, guys, sorry. I was, it was hectic for me. I was babysitting, picking people up and all that stuff. I was cut off a little bit. I couldn't hear. I went out of speaker, so I didn't really hear what you guys said um, recently, like – when, when I think Riley was uh, speaking last, but no, I, I, talking about Trump Russia. But I, when I uh, it was after that, yeah. But to to my clarification, yes. Thank you for letting me clarify when I was talking about this the time of events after the fact and during January sixth and all that Trump and Russia thing. Yeah, I was talking. I mean, I guess we kind of went over that with what you guys said about that and what I know from just seeing foreign news channels and like what's broadcasted on foreign news channels that and for the fact that like i mean i still disagree not not the 
not a couple of points, but a couple of points I agree with. I still disagree with, you know, proud boys and they just didn't know, uh, couldn't be done. This is, this is the capital. You know what I mean? Like this is from everything I've seen too, which again, you're probably going to say, Oh, I watched Tucker Carlson or like fucking go on those. Like Repo- I, I don't do any of that. Um, I was actually more so all the, all the news media I did get in the past before I was ever really just on like X or anything was from CNN and just regularly what would come on during like commercial breaks and stuff on my TV in the background. But that was actually the first time I heard January 6th being broadcasted. That was actually one of the first lies I discovered was when it was on CNN Live. I forget. I don't know the names. I don't know. The I'm, names. I'm sorry, Rob. But the lady, who first, what you're the lady who first spoke Here. literally said uh, five people were killed as a result of these riots. And I was like, fucking A, five. That, that's five too much. Rob, you know? I'm sorry to interrupt, but what are, what are you getting at here? I, I, I don't need to know your, uh, your media diet. I'm just I'm talking about CNN media, the January sixth. Yeah. Why are you talking about that? That was the last thing I think we left off as when my thing was cut off. That's yeah, I said, I said that you, like it sounds to me like your entire media diet is opinion based. My because entire you, media you, diet is opinion based. I, I don't think you actually like read any like court cases, uh, documents. You don't. You don't pour through evidence. Okay, so you're uh, saying you just yes, you're saying like when you listening to the, people talk about the mainstream media. No, 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 not, no, 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 no. Don't put words. Look, not people. I'm not putting media. words. In I'm the talking record. about what came out of the media. What, what, what the words of the media host, what they wrote about, what the anchor literally said out of his mouth. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about. You're not doing a good job explaining it. A lot of that was lies. A lot of that was fabricated. A lot of that was exaggerated. Complete. Yeah, some but you only seem to know about some of the lies you disagree with on one side. Like, again, the Fox News Dominion thing. No, a lot of the same voter fraud things that you're talking about, they knew they, those were all lies. Are you, are you aware that every claim that Sidney Powell was pushing, that everybody in the media knew that was a lie? Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not talking about specific voter. I told you I didn't even look into okay, that. Wait, wait, wait. Who, so for, I'm just saying just for that January. then, for the Kraken, you know that all those voter fraud claims, that was a lie. What from who? Fox News knew that Sidney Powell was lying, that she had no evidence for any of those claims, but they still propagated all of it, everything she said. Okay, she lied. Okay. Okay. You do know that, like, everybody knows that lies like that are what led to the insurrection on January 6th, those lies that Trump also spread. So you're saying there were for sure notable lies you could prove to me? Yes, it was part of the Dominion lawsuit. So, for instance, quoting, quoting, on January 20th, Rupert Murdoch, okay, says, the more I think about McConnell's remarks or complaint, the more I agree. Trump insisting on the election being stolen and convincing 25% of Americans was a huge disservice to the country. Pretty much a crime. Inevitable that it blew up January 6th. Best we don't mention his name unless essential and well, certainly don't support Someone saying, it. someone said that, he, he knew for a fact this was stolen, but he still incited that. Excuse me, this is Rupert Murdoch, okay, who was part of making a lot of decisions and working with the executive team on Fox, choosing whether or not to actually platform people, okay, like Sidney Powell on these programs. And a lot of the other hosts were saying the exact same shit. Yes. So you're saying Rupert Murdoch said that she knowingly lied about this stuff. Correct. That's why they lost. That's or no, they didn't lose. They settled immediately because they didn't want to end up going to court on this. Yes. Okay. I mean... I, I don't know exactly what that points to because talk show hosts and thing. Oh, our bad guys. We, we lied about this. Oh, wait, we got to pull this guy out because he lied. Some don't do anything and knowingly spread lies. I'm not sure what the point of this is. If you're knowingly spreading a lie in order to. Oh, they're doing that right now. They're doing that today. What do Why you do mean? you like, keep this pivoting? Has been going there's, on. Nothing, there's nothing that is to the equivalent of this lie that originated from a president's campaign in order to hold on to power. Very fine people. So, so how would that happen, holding on to power? Because the, the way you guys that it was supposed it to happen like, was, oh, there was 600. The way that it was, this. Why, oh, sorry, why I thought you wanted an like, explanation. My bad, you were just going to ramble. Boys? Why couldn't Very they get the job people. done if this was, if this was the, 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 the severity, you're, say, you're saying the severity of this, if this was the ultimate goal, and most protests that were there were peaceful, some rioters, some Proud Boys, you said, a couple hundred Proud Boys, if you're saying this is the ultimate goal, they kind of sucked at that, didn't they? Because they could have just done it. You can't say that because they failed, that wasn't the goal. Like, I, I don't know. How, that's not an argument against anything. You realize no, I'm not saying, that, right? Yeah, no, I understand that. I'm saying the same evidence or fact statements that you're making to me of, of saying the severity of the case kind of goes back to, well, if it was if, if, if it was this severe, there was no precautions, there was nothing done. 
to back up the, the severity of this. I don't. Th th it's almost like I'll people were trying to counter like Trump's lies telegram. about voter if fraud for the entirety of the. And got like a thousand Proud Boys to march in, into the Capitol and overtake the government. I could almost do that because a lot of the evidence you were talking to me about that with January 6th. They, they, you, be, they, uh, they did. They stopped the certification of the vote. That was the goal. They only left after the National Guard showed up and Donald Trump told them to go home when he realized that Pence and everybody else wasn't going to, to side with them. They did what they tried to do. They the insurrectionists did exactly what they were supposed to do, which was hold the Capitol, delay the certification of the vote, and then hopefully see if a lawmaker or Pence will come through and side with Trump. Nobody did. Okay. I feel like if they wanted an actual coup, they that would not have been what happened. What, what, what could they? Like what would they have done differently? Blown up the is, Capitol this is building? Not, like an actual an actual coup? I feel like they would have gone at least armed. The, uh, they, yeah, hold look, on, some look, of them the were reason, armed. What do you mean? The, the reason why I even mentioned this in the first place, the January sixth, was because I'm talking about the people that were there. The entire time that I've heard about January sixth, from the day it started up until now, being worse than 9/11 worse than Pearl Harbor, the worst day in American history. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. People are like literally crying over it, which is, I've never seen it. Why like, do you think people said it was worse than those? If, wait, wait, can you even, can you even no, explain the argument? Why are they saying it was worse than those two things? Uh, that's, what, that's what I'm telling you. It's absurd. I feel like that's it's just absurd the media. No, I'm asking you, why do you think- I place it into Pearl Harbor and- No, no, hold on. Why do you think it was worse? I don't think it was worse. No, no. Why do you think people might say that in a way it was worse? Can you even? I like, have no idea. You, that, I even exactly said why. it earlier. People said it was worse because the U.S. president was the one instigating it. Do you understand so, how that might be like like a special, uniquely bad thing? So, you, so okay. No, 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 wait. Can you answer that? Do you understand that the U.S. president staging a coup, even if it is unsuccessful, is a uniquely bad thing? Uh, staging a coup is a is a pretty strong word to use. Number one, I would say. Number two, the whole oh he incited this insurrection by saying we might we I got to fight for our country. Again, that argument doesn't is not consistent enough with everything else I've <sighs> seen from no, the liberal media. No, you're just this is like bad faith. You just you don't. It's when if I say I, stage a coup. The, when I say stage a coup, what I mean is that he propagated knowingly false claims. Everybody knows they were false. Fox News lost the largest defamation suit of all time, propagating the claims of one of Donald Trump's lawyers knowing they were false. Donald Trump asked his attorney general, Barr, to, okay, to okay. propagate these false claims. I'll Barr left that. because he knew they were false. He asked the next two attorney generals to do it, no, and I, he was going to fire them and put in another guy until half the DOJ threatened to quit. He knew that these were false. Uh, Rudy Giuliani went to court and said, I lied. It was my first amendment right to lie. He knew that they were false. All of these claims are false, and Donald Trump knew they were false, and he continued to propagate them over and over and over and over again. And he did that while also getting seven states to send fake slates of electors to Congress while also trying to pressure Pence to accept those fake slates. This You're is a coup all, attempt. I'm talking about what happened in January. You're saying all this happened that day? I'm All of it led to, yes. The fake electorates were tried to be delivered to Pence on the, the day fake of. Yes, yeah, I agree. Yes. Why, when Donald Trump said, I hope Pence does the right thing, what is he talking about? Yeah, to not certify. Yeah. Yes, to not cert to coup. The, That's that would be a coup, right? Yes. If Pence didn't certify the but, election, but that would be a coup, right? Saying, it so would not saying, have been. But no. you're saying Wait, in that if moment, if he Pence was, if he Pence was, didn't certify the election because pre President Trump was urging him to do that against the law, do you think that would be a coup? No. By definition, no. You're saying, no. You're saying in that he moment he, he already knew that all of that was false. He did. Yes, saying. correct. That's why he was asking the DOJ to send knowingly false letters out, saying we found evidence they hadn't. That's why half the DOJ threatened to quit. That's why Barr quit. He knew it was false. Did the, the Fox, or do you think Fox News was smarter than and had more resources than the president? Because they knew it was false. Do you think the fact that he lost dozens of court cases up to that point, a lot that were overseen by his own appointed federal judges, they knew it was false. When Rudy Giuliani was before judges yes, him, and he said, this look, isn't a fraud case, him, I'm actually going to probably procedures, he knew that the fraud claims were false. So everybody knew it was false around him. He didn't. He was the only one. Him attempting this and him doing these things if he actually believed that everything else was rigged against him kind of thing, I could see, you could say some of these things, yes, it's a distasteful thing. And I'll, if I give it to you, if I, I give you all oh, 100% for a fact, he knew all of these things were false. And even though he tried to oh, play his game of electors and stuff, ah, shit, it didn't work. I'll, 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 if I give you all, all of that as well, I'm talking about January 6th and the protesters. Of why every of why everyone is saying this was the worst state, this was worse than 9-11. I'm saying if he wanted a stage, if he wanted to do that, if he was a president in power where, oh, I'm going to. So he you don't have, have a problem with the facts. Side and let everybody in. Wait, Rob, what did you say? Wait, 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 wait. What was the last thing you just said? Wait, somehow, wait, wait, wait. What was the last thing you just said? What was I'm saying? Could he have not done that if he wanted to? Wait, I heard let everybody in. Yes. You you know that the, all the people that got in initially broke in, right? 
Yes, I, I saw some people smashing a window. I saw some people pulling them down who actually got charged and thrown in jail for five years for doing that because the judge said they attacked. Okay, so yeah, so everybody well, that got into the Capitol literally, in the public everybody buildings. got everybody th that was broken into, right? Yes. Okay. Some, gotcha. Some. No, no. All the initial breaches were break were breaking in. Nobody let them walk through anywhere. It was it, violent insurrectionists that broke okay, into. Sure. It's all on video. Nobody denied any of this. No, they okay. didn't. Dude, okay, I would oh. say initial. I'll give you that because I, I haven't scrubbed through every second. But I know many doors unlocked by police officers and escort around the Capitol, no, too. No, you're that repeating. Too. I thought you said you didn't watch mainstream media. Why are you repeating a Tucker Carlson lie The Tucker Carlson knowingly lied about? What, security cam footages? Yeah, of the, of after the insurrection previous. had already been in full blown and when officers were just trying to escort people to already evacuated areas. Those were the Senate chambers that they were led to, right? You know that there were senators in there before that were trying to certify the election, right? That was already evacuated. Yeah, they're not being led into uh, places like at the beginning of the insurrection. This is after it was already raging. They were just trying to move people into more manageable areas. Like, th this okay. is all on footage. You can see so all of this. So where's that like, violence? In the Capitol? Where's Where's what violence? Where's the justification for people who literally spent a, a minute and 40 seconds walking in the Capitol and out, if that's all they did, getting five years in jail? Were they? Were these people who were part of the Oath Keepers or Proud Boys who were planning this event the entire no, time? No, I, I personally know one who literally on uh, pulled down one of the guys that tried to climb through a window. The judge said he attacked that person and then spent a whole minute and Which, 30 seconds on. in what's the Capitol. The, what's, they, the name, what's the name? What's the name of this person? I kind of don't want to say, but sure. It's a public. Um, it's they're publicly. If it's if they're already sentenced or convicted, five years, we probably can narrow it down. What for for, for what reason? Just gonna look them up just to say. Well, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm or, curious or what they actually did. I want to see what they actually did. Shit. That's what I'm curious about. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what they actually did. Oh I, no, I could literally tell you exactly. No, what I don't they trust did. anything you say. So, You've already told like 50 lies just on this call. You believe in everything that's not true. Why? Why am I gonna listen to you summarize what happened to your friend? I know what you're gonna do. Look. You're oh, gonna look I'm going to look it up and see what, actually what, they, what they said in social media of, oh, we must remove these people in power, showed up to the rally, except all he did was, yes, pull down a guy from a window, walk into the Capitol minute and 40, like about two minutes in, they gave him five years in prison. But the, but the justification I'm saying they used was cons conspiracy to overthrow a government. You know, Wait, like seditious? He was that. one of the guys who was convicted of seditious conspiracy? Yes, sure. So Hold on, conspiracy. wait, okay, so this was like, I think... Which was like, ev what, wasn't it everybody? everybody no, was it was like, I think it was 14 like people max. Overthrow. Hold on, seditious conspiracy? No, was not everybody. Are you sure he got seditious conspiracy and not something different? Dude, was they, gave, they gave like absurd jail times over people who were there in, in like the smallest skirmishes with police officers. It, they weren't because conspiracy, seditious conspiracy, they were there because they organized armed groups of people to have weapons and ammunition and they'd stockpiled them outside the Capitol and because they'd been in group chats making plans for weeks or over a month beforehand for how they were going to penetrate the Capitol, break in and do everything else. Yes, that's why they okay, got seditious they, conspiracy. And, yes. if, and if the ones if the ones didn't do that, they were still charged anyway. It's conspiracy, my friend. Do you know what conspiracy means? Conspiracy means yeah, that you and a yeah. friend have planned I, a crime and you've taken at least one. I yes. from liberals like 24-7. Okay, so when I, if I do conspiracy to murder with another person, I don't have to kill anybody to get convicted of the conspiracy, right? I just have to be part of the planning and take a step towards it. That's what conspiracy yeah, but is. Where, where, where's the, where does the bias stop is what I'm talking about. It has nothing to do with I've, bias. I've We're heard, talking about a I've criminal those, conviction. I've heard those same things. I've heard those same things, including some on social media. That have been completely gone and forgotten. Really? Give me one example. With, with everybody give me one example. Give me one example. Any random rally you want to go with. Give me Trump. one example. Like, all they talk. There you go. There's the, nothing. It's just vague. It's nebulous. Okay, vague bullshit. Here, look. Here, look. The, the, the recent assassination attempt, people legitimately chanted for the death of him and how great the country Chanting would be. Chanting for the off. death they of did. somebody is it, not a it, crime. It, you're, you're, it, just, you're just rambling. That's not a crime. That's not a conspiracy. You're not planning to do anything bad. Okay, what if someone said, I, I wish I was the person to shoot him? We, we, have to go, we have to go into the Capitol and remove him from office. All those rioters outside the Capitol. If somebody said when we Trump have to go into the thing and move it, if you do an investigation on the person and they're planning with another person and they take a step dude, they towards didn't do that, any of that, what? You, there was so, dude, there was chance of that. There was signs. Of Chanting is not a criminal conspiracy. Were, what are you, know you talking about? about? The right, let's someone else up in here. In, so, like, like the indictments for a seditious conspiracy. Do you know anything about those, Robs? Say that again one more time. Do you know anything about the indictments for seditious conspiracy? In those indictments, they lay out the planning, the meticulous planning that was taken in advance of January 6th to use force to hinder the execution of the law of the United States. That is seditious conspiracy. The convictions happened. For that, I, I guess, okay. Yeah, so it's <laughs> not just chance that occurred on the day of. It was planning, it was orchestrated, it was intentional, it was deliberate. Okay, and the same, and the same riots outside the Capitol. 
with, again, property damage, multiple injury. You're saying the difference between that and this event is because they didn't try to overthrow the government? What do you mean this event? Are you referencing something else? I'm talking about January 6th. He's saying, why didn't BLM riders get seditious conspiracy convictions? <laughs> Maybe because they couldn't No, I'm talking prove it. about the, even the Capitol riots outside of, I think it was Trump's inauguration. Because they didn't have like a planned plot that they'd been working on for weeks beforehand in order to obstruct and over the... Because like you're saying... How many people were in this planned plot? I'm curious. Um, Dozens. For the Proud Boys, uh, it was at least, what, 12? For the Oath Keepers, I think it was at least 10 or 15 that were like all involved. But in terms of like who actually got charged with the convictions at the end, I think it was around 10 people that were convicted of seditious conspiracy. Okay. And, and would you say that this was... <clears throat> big enough to overturn democracy in our country during January 6th. I don't understand. This was it. You keep, you keep, you keep alluding like to the really fact that it's, no, no, it's, 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 it's the least like important part. Important. It's not no, important. This is, no, there is no other crime where you take into account the likelihood of success or something to, for whether or not this counts as a, a thing or not. That's I'm not, not, I'm not, saying I'm, it's not a, I'm not saying it's not a crime or that it's not. I'm saying that the fact that there's only 10 people when, that's, oh, that's, that's my point. Too. You're saying that there are ten people. I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make is that you know, out, when you're looking at America out oh, from like an outside, but the the things they talk about America is just capable of. Oh, the greatest army in the world. This, that, this, that, and then our capital. Hey, where well, they try to find every single piece where it's like, oh my gosh, these twelve people yes. inspire like whatever. And this was the worst day, worse than nine eleven, worse than Pearl Harbor. So you're exaggerating, and, and you're relying so much. Nancy you're Pelosi. relying so Rob, much on these the, comparisons. What about the National Guard? This is the worst. Rob, thing all you care history. about is opinions. You don't. You yeah, don't even care something. about the facts. We bring you up facts that Trump did all this shit, and all you care about is the opinions of other people and what they said. I'm, I'm not. Who's the opinion in my quote? I'm talking about everything that the news media literally posts today. That they I literally like, go I feel on like the crime. news does that Kamala Harris comes out with her own words and says this. That's what I'm talking can about. Can I say can I say something? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm take it back to you for a second. Dude, I'm, I'm saying like if you're on that boat, you'd have to agree with <laughs> Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, all the CNN news anchors that like make this event out to be in a way and they weren't talking uh, about yeah, it. most most of the water break, the same points. The the problem was that it was led by the president. Than, no, no one said it was the worst thing. Just in a way that was uniquely horrible. Yes, but that doesn't okay, make it the well, worst okay. thing. No one said anything. All right, Rob, take a take a back seat. Um, no one yeah. said anything. Like the news, the news, the news said it, but the news saying it really doesn't matter. I don't know what the news Andy. is. I don't know who the news is. Sorry. Okay, well, I'd like to jump in here. So definitely there earlier, is. you were saying how Biden is more respected and feared around the world, and to prove that, you say, well, why didn't Russia just withdraw from Crimea during Trump's term? Uh, if Biden is so respected, not only did Russia not leave Crimea during his term, but they invaded the rest of Ukraine. Can you explain that a little bit better for me? The, the United States can't deploy a military to stop an invasion into another country from a superpower like Russia. There's nothing you can't. But really your argument was that Biden is more respected than Trump. And when the other guy said, no, 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 Trump was way more respected and feared than Biden. You said, well, then how come Russia didn't pull out of Crimea when Trump was president? My argument that. President, that was your exact my, my argument. argument. Don't well, take that's it back because out. That's, wait, hold on. That video. was my argument because he brought up Russia and Ukraine as some example for why Trump was respected. That's a bad example. And you to bring made up. a dumbest fuck no, argument. No, I didn't make a dumbest fuck argument. argument. Yeah, I, I, said, dude, I, I, said, I said that said, it's not. I you can't use that as evidence that Russia. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Hold on. I would That's you can absolutely use that as evidence. They invaded Crimea under Biden's watch, not Trump's. They didn't invade Crimea under Biden's watch. The but, claim that I would they, make, they I would Ukraine say, the claim that I would say is that if you look at any of the polling data, if you look at any of the statements made by world oh, leaders, yeah. if you look at any of the conduct they've had and the foreign policy of the United States, it's pretty easy to show that Biden is a more respected world leader than Trump. If he decided to bring up, well, what about what happened in Ukraine? And I said, Ukraine is a bad example because it's not like Russia pulled out of Crimea or stopped the civil war in, in the Southeast. Russia didn't do anything there. That's why I brought that up as a counter example. That wouldn't be they my go-to example. Ukraine during Trump's turn, they 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 had already bikes. invaded Ukraine. They were working on under Obama. On, they were still there. You said, why didn't Trump. they pull out? You they said, why didn't there. they pull out under Trump? Why wasn't Trump strong enough to make them pull out? That was exactly what you said. Yes. It was the As worst a argument I've ever heard. My it's not life. an argument. It's a counter argument to another stupid argument. No, no, I, I agree with what he's saying, because that was another thing, too. I, I was I was kind of baffled about that. And that it, was, it was absurd. It was the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. 
Dude, you, you <laughs> literally you listen said, to I don't, anything else I don't care today. about the news you watch from foreign news channels of those countries. You don't countries watch foreign you news channels. You said data. you're talking about you Telegram posts, my data. dude. I don't care what Telegram posts are rotting your brain because you subscribe to whatever crazy shit you see on I'm Telegram. I'm not on Telegram. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what, you, what do you mean? You said over and over again, Telegram. This is what they say on Telegram. I'm sorry. You no, gonna I said Russia. On, on Russia, Graham, uh, uh, sorry, Russia, Russia State TV. That was the Kremlin. What, okay, what are you referring to in particular, specifically? Okay, originally I said, I wa when you said, oh no, because I mean the whole thing was supposed to be how Biden and Kamala are going to be more respected than you know Trump and everything, and with the first initial examples I gave. One of the ones where you said, oh, you're probably you know getting your news from blah, blah, check out this polling day. It was in response to when I initially said, dude, I watched foreign news channels of not only China, Russia, and every single thing, if you kept, and this is, I, I kept up for years. I'm not talking about like one segment, right? I'm talking about years. I'm talking about like the last 10, 15 years. I'm like, there's no way in hell that you are correct in your statement of, oh no, Trump's a laughing stock and Biden is respected. If you even watched one segment of a foreign news then channel give me or one. Give me one segment, give me one example. You have nothing. Okay, turn on, go to, go to uh, on Russia. Rob, you're, you're killing yourself here, Dave. They're, they're, dude, they're <laughs> you're going to say, oh, my gosh, they're a bunch of this and a bunch of that. It's like, yes, you, you can see what they're doing. Go go on the Russian news channel once. Uh, you can't think like of, a, channel of one, a single example. The other one. Dude, I can give you an example. What about Russia. when Angela Stay Merkel TV. said that Russia Europe has TV lost TV faith right in now. the United States, that we can't look at the U.S. as being the leader of the world anymore? That might be an example of how other countries are losing faith. What about when Donald Trump continually undermined NATO over and over and over again, and people weren't sure if he was going to continue to support it going forward? That that's might be an example. That's the biggest load of crap uh, the, yeah, ever. He made sure that made every government started paying their fair share of NATO. Like he did more for NATO than uh, any other president in history. Gonna, this is all look, complete nonsense. I literally told you, go on shit. Russian state media. I, I've watched this my whole life. And yet, and yet you can't name a single example. You have nothing. I just told you. Look up Bervi Canal. Watch it. What, watch what? what the, oh, every thing, single thing this guy's made? Every single program he's put out? Every single... what? You can okay. It's a Rob, he's going to push channel, you on the you tiniest specifics. Don't bring stuff up if you don't have examples in front of you. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, just to be clear for everybody, you know when people are lying when they always speak in nebulous, vague terms. It's always a lie. They don't have an example. Dude, That's why you can call it me pushing for an example, but like it's not. You just have nothing. You have nothing. Hey, Justin, where's your poll? What specific poll? Do you want me to? Do you want me to? World leaders, do you have that shows that Biden's more effective? Sure. Would you like me to? I can reply to my tweet, and I can literally link you if you'd like. Do you want me to do that? No, you need to say it out loud right now. I want it down to like the decimal point of yeah, the website. That's exactly Please give me the very specific example. Okay, gotcha. You. On January Quit 8th, 2020, Pew Research Center published an article titled, quote, How People Around oh, the World See the U dot S dot and Donald Trump in 10 Charts. Qu end quote. Yes, Pew Research, one of the most respected international polling companies on the planet. Yes. I asked. Uh, it's a big place. They got a lot of things to the research. Why don't you give me the exact website? I want it down to the letter. Do you understand that you just got blown the f out? You understand you just got completely obliterated. No, I'm right? asking for you specific. Just like you are. You're trying to push on tiny details and be I'm a I'm not dick. trying to push on tiny details. I was asking for one example and I just gave you one, sir. Your asshole is gaped right now. You are gaped, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, Rob was the one making the claim, not me. I just wanted to make that to you. I acknowledge that I'm pushing him on tiny specific right, details. I want to be a dick like Destiny. But I don't know the specific examples. Do you, do you acknowledge you gave you a specific example, yes or no? I honestly, I didn't hear the You name didn't the hear the thing? The research, you just thought, so. He cited the Communist Pew Research thing. Yeah, but I asked for the website specifically to the letter. Are you That's shitting me? That's the question I asked. Hey, Wait, did really? I ask a specific question? Did I make that very clear to the decimal well, point? Because yeah, I want yeah, the web address. If, if you want the specific URL, you're going to like ask okay. Okay. what's next. Like you're going to ask That's for, what I said. That's what I asked for. Did I get it? Or is this asshole gate? I don't know, man. Did you want to like, get specific? This is all super weak as hell. You, no, you he's just... pushing that Rob guy who's not a very good debater on little tiny specifics. And I don't want any bitty details. I want every single person little, that made every single specific. claim. That's your characterization of what we're going down is little tiny specifics. A single we're example is, is just really said it. tiny specific. Just one example was really tiny specifics. Okay. Uh, that guy's not a good debater. I, I don't want to stand up for him. I, if you're a good debater, I am. I can give a very specific right, example. Right, right, right. I can show you why Destiny no, no, no. would support attacking these public we'll, institutions. We'll, we'll he would attack the riot at the Capitol. Back, uh, I can send you the video link now and 
the timestamp on it. Do you believe that January 6th was an insurrection? No. Why not? No one was charged. <clears throat> because you can't define insurrection in any specific way that would change you it from a million other riots and demonstrations that have happened. Do you agree, like, do you agree, do you agree that, that yeah. Donald Trump tried to prevent the, pan the peaceful transfer of power? No. Okay, do you agree that Donald Trump tried to use illegal means to prevent the peaceful transfer of power? Nope. Then why the is it that stolen. in his own memo, why did Eastman and Chesbro say that this would be illegal under the Electoral Count Act when they were trying to prevent okay. the peaceful transfer of power? So if he, his own lawyers were saying Is that the Donald Trump memo? Yes, that Donald Trump. Yes, Eastman and oh, well, Chesbro. Oh, I thought you said it was uh, Eastman. Well, those were the two people that were, that were consulting him, and that was the plan that he went yep, with. That's right. Yep. That, mm -hmm, that was the plan that he went with. Yes, correct. And they said it was illegal. Against, it violated the ECA. Yes, correct. Okay. And that was the plan they went with. They said it was legal, so it was probably legal. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, no, because you think the election was stolen, don't you? There was no, a voter not necessarily. Fraud? Not necessarily. Nope. Yes or no, you don't know? I think it was rigged. Do you think that there was voter fraud? That, that, that uh, yeah, the absolutely. For certain. 100% certain there was voter fraud. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Are you saying that there was zero voter fraud in the entire that election? Change the outcome of the election. I, you, that's not. That's not what we're arguing. Was well, there I'm voter fraud or not in the election? You. Do you believe there was sufficient Maybe. voter fraud? Could be. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. You don't know. I I do not know, but I can't say with certainty there was fraud. You were claiming there was zero fraud. So go back to that. Prove to me there was zero fraud. Do you? No, no. I'm not. I'm not. That's not my claim. Do you believe in 2016 there was voter fraud? Prove to me there was zero voter fraud. You don't have to prove there's zero voter fraud. You don't wait, prove wait, wait. the, the I'm negative. Not making that claim. I'm not making All right, that claim. Well, there was voter fraud. I can prove there was. Well, no, I'm Damn. asking you, do you believe that there was enough voter fraud to change the outcome election? And I said, I do not know. What about in 2016? <clears throat> what about 2016? Do you believe that there was there enough was voter fraud? fraud. Yes. To there was absolutely voter fraud in 2016. Change the outcome of the election. We've had voter fraud in every change election we've ever had. Change the outcome of the election. Sufficient to change the outcome of the election. Could be. Certainly. So are you need just a, you know, a couple thousand votes in one state? So yes, you, yes, it absolutely. Are yes, they absolutely could have. have. In a state like Georgia, where there was such a slim margin, voter fraud could have easily, are you easily as agnostic, changed the outcome of that election. Are you yep. just as agnostic as the 2016 election with respect to sufficient voter fraud over an election as you are? Yes. You're just as agnostic. Yes, I think there's I think there's massive voter fraud in every single election. Massive single that's election. on a scale. It's hard to judge, but yes, every single so election. That's the Do you case, think there was any voter fraud in the JFK election? I'm not sure. I'm not making that claim. So well, you're not you're an idiot. Of course Trump there was. The it's admitted. States. It is admitted that there was tons of fraud in the JFK election. Can you clarify? Does How do you not know that? If you believe that there was Zai, you cut out, but I know you're gonna I ask. lost you. Yeah, the, the question that he's about to ask you is if you don't know for certain that there was a fit, free and fair election in 2016, how do you know for certain that Trump was duly and fairly elected president in 2016? No. Okay. I'm not arguing one way or the other on that. Why are you asking me that question? That's ridiculous. I'm telling you voter fraud exists. Did you treat him as though he to was the duly elected I don't president? Know. Did you treat him as though he was the duly elected president? Did you support any investigation? Like, did I go up and say Mr. President? No, did I didn't you, do that. Did no. you acknowledge him as the president? Did you support any investigations into the 2016 election? I acknowledge Joe Biden as the president, but I still think there was a bunch of fraud and the okay, election. Very fair. Very fair. So, so under that standard, under that standard, would you support it if in 2016 Hillary Clinton if tried to submit? Wait, 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 I'm asking you a specific question. Would you have supported yes. it if in 2016 Hillary Clinton tried to send? False set, sets of electors to claim that she won the election and to have or get the electors to be faithless, like she did. Have, I'm she asking did. you a specific question. She did. Would you have no, she did not. Would you, you, have you did. produce? No, you, you, you did. Can, you can produce no evidence whatsoever that Hillary Clinton ever called for faithless electors. No I can evidence. produce evidence that Hillary Clinton colluded with not only Russia but multiple foreign <laughs> countries. She was the actual one that committed Russia Gate. Because she, oh, she was the one spy. who publicly begged Russia yep. to hack into her. Oh no, threw that was, a law that firm. Was Trump, my bad. Illegally yeah. hired a foreign spy, Christopher Steele. This is all documented. And Christopher, hey, Christopher Steele is Christopher Steele. Christopher Steele on the Russia desk of MI6 Bert, intelligence. Is, so she worked with sir, Russian intelligence. That, she worked with Hillary British Clinton, intelligence sir, to put a file together Andy, on Trump to Andy, completely try to overthrow Andy. his presidency. So yes. And she certainly did Mr. try to. I'm asking you a question, sir. Did she you try to is, coup the president? Is Christopher Steele a faithless elector? 
Christopher you Field, a foreign spy that the Clinton campaign colluded with. Hillary Clinton. A foreign spy they colluded with. And he you colluded with Russians. So Clinton's campaign well, colluded with right. Russia. That's a beautiful concession. I'm here for it. Right in my yeah. veins, baby. What's the concession? What's the concession? Do you th do you believe that there's evidence that Hillary Clinton asked or promoted or pushed for faithless, faithless electors? electors? Yes. What's the evidence? It's the entire campaign that started from the oh, famous lecture. Why do you think there's oh, all those Hollywood you, commercials what is, what is, with Martin Sheen? Do you think what Martin Sheen just goes out and does that on his own without someone in the Hillary campaign asking him to? Do you, you think, think that, that wasn't pushed by them? Jeffrey of course it was. These, you, you think these people just write memos just because they're by themselves for Trump? The Democrats wrote these you, wait, exact same memos you, on you, the you, outcome you, of the you, election of legal options. Yes. What did you say? Do you think Eastman can just write memos by himself? Who, I, I'm sure he has someone help him. What does that have to do with anything? Because if you can conceive in your mind that Trump... He wrote it for it, Trump. He wrote it for Trump to review. A lot of okay. people wrote a lot of stuff for him to review. They yeah, were giving him legal you're not ascribing to You're not ascribing to Trump any culpability for those memos. So why would you ascribe any culpability to Martin Sheen for fucking anything? For, Martin for, Sheen? For Clinton for he Martin did the commercial. He did the public Who commercial the fuck cares? telling... The Trump elector to be faithless to overthrow is, oh, the you know, outcome of the election it. is Martin to overthrow the outcome of the election. Andy is Martin Sheen yeah. Hillary Clinton. I famously thought they were two separate people. Her campaign put out a nationally televised. She got a bunch of celebrities to do a nationally televised ad telling the Trump elector to be faithless and it. not put him in office Prove because they wanted that. to overturn the outcome of the election. Just like that. you guys are Wait, climbing Trump you think that do. Hillary Clinton put out an ad calling for faithless electors? I'm saying the Hillary campaign got yes celebrities no. yes to put an ad yes together. No. It's an easily viewable ad. You can go watch it right now. Sheen's in it. A bunch of people from the West Wing are in it. It's, it's not a secret. How do you not know about this? Did she cause the ad to be made? Did she to be made? Her yeah, of course it came from her campaign. Of course. No, no. Did she personally, Hillary Clinton, cause the act? Yeah, she went down there and filmed it. She edited it. She put it out herself. Of course she did these guys. Look at these stupid little details you want to get into. Oh You're God, wrong. Your side tried to overthrow the elected government when Trump got elected, but all of a sudden it was bad when Trump you tried to do it. Sure oh, no. You just said wait, you weren't wait, sure wait, he was elected. On. And also, wait, hold on. So you're saying, wait, wait, you're saying, hold on. You're saying that just because electors were faithless in 2016, that means that they were trying to influence... They, no, they tried to get them to be faithless. They tried, okay. Do you understand that... There was in, a huge campaign to get Trump's electors to go in and be faithless. That most of the faithless electors were for Hillary? That most of the ones that didn't vote were no, Democrat? Five out of seven you, of the ones that were faithless not know were what, Democrat? You must not know what you're talking about. You do not know what's happening here. After the election, okay, they wanted the Trump electors to not go in and put their Trump in. The, How uh, many of them ended, ended up not doing it? Oh, my God. I know. How, so okay, hard. So, I know. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's on same, January 6th, how many people didn't argument. put Biden in office? How many people didn't put Biden on the I don't know what that question is. I'm asking so it didn't you, work. I'm asking so it didn't you work. in 2016, okay. it didn't work. It's how okay. many electors... Oh, I don't even think it didn't work. It's I okay. don't even think the ad exists for what you're talking about. That Hillary Clinton encouraged Are an ad serious? to be put out? Oh, my God. Well, here, wait, no, because no, wait, you, don't you know. can destroy because all of us. You watch you're, one side you're, of media. you're ready to destroy all of us. You're so biased on all one side. Us. You're in such a bubble. All of you don't us know this be, huge yep, ad with all these yep, major keep celebrities. Ranting. Yep, keep rambling, keep rambling, keep rambling. Wait, 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 oh, you wait, can destroy wait, all of us right It's absurd. Very quickly, name one wait. article. One article that talks about what you're referencing. One article that brings this up. Uh, do you, you want the URL? No, no, just the name of the article or the publication or the title or anything about this. What would I look for? So look for Unite for America, Martin Sheen. There were celebrities who put out a? an ad. Right. Yeah, no, wait, no, buddy. C is a connection between them and Hillary Clinton. As a matter of fact, they don't even advocate. Bob Odenkirk from Better Call, Call Saul is in it. They don't even advocate for you necessarily even voting for Clinton. There were mm -hmm. celebrities. These pets ad never work with the campaign, there, so I get you. There were... Yeah, New yes. York Post. So the way this works is you make a claim and you actually have to provide evidence for it. I'm sorry, I have to walk you through that. If you claim that Hillary Clinton was responsible for a bunch of Hollywood celebrities advocating for faithless electors after Trump's victory in 2016, you need to prove that she was behind it. The fact that okay. they were calling... Prove it, Trump was behind it. Prove Trump, Trump was, was behind, behind what? what? <laughs> the insurrection... The, yeah, you got to show me exactly where he. Do you said, have short-term okay, memory loss? Were you here, not here for the past two fucking hours? <laughs> nope, been here the whole time. Did you listen? Okay. You want a direct link with the smoking gun? I will not direct link with the smoking gun. 
The direct link was Donald Trump doing hashtag stop the steal, leading uh -huh. people to do the That's march on January 6th. I'm explaining it. That's telling people to come and do it on January 6th. It was sending them to the Capitol, saying that Pence needed to do the right thing, and it was the people at the Capitol delaying the certification of the vote. That's what he wanted to do. Yeah, that's what he that said he was going to do. No, All of these things are. No, that's an insurrection. Wait, what is obstructing an official right. proceeding, stopping the certification of the vote because he doesn't like the outcome of the election with violence? Oh, he was violent. The, the rioters were. Yes. Do you need video footage of it? Oh, OK. Was that him? Hillary Clinton. No, that's why footage. he was inciting it and not doing it himself. So he so he had little he puppets with people when he was like forcing them to do it or he got them on like some voodoo magic. Is that what that means? You if I tell, me tell you to go link, kill right? somebody, then... The, oh, I'm sorry. So that's the only thing? It has to be a voodoo magic or a mind That's what you to? demanded of me. That's what you demanded no, of me. No, we asked say. for any link whatsoever between the Hillary campaign and this Unite the America people. One, Any link whatsoever. We didn't ask for voodoo magic. Can you give a single link at all? You were the better debater, yeah, right? Just a single link. Go ahead. What was it? They're a pack. They're a pack for the Hillary campaign. What do you think a PAC is? You think they were a PAC for the Hillary campaign? They worked. Are you sure? Yes. So if I look up, if no, I look up yeah, the, the I United fully know America, that a PAC it's going to say. not legally work with a campaign, but all PACs work with campaigns. Oh, so, oh, 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 so you're alleging a, a conspiracy that you have no evidence of. You're, that's what you're saying. No, you're alleging a conspiracy you have no evidence well, of. No, you're alleging a conspiracy. No, you are. <laughs> no, I'm actually making a better argument than you are. I heard that little weasel dev in the background say incitement was stupid. You want to speak up? Is that your position, dev? I didn't say it was stupid. I said it was a stupid argument when he wasn't oh, charged for it. Oh, it's a stupid argument. All right, we'll go through it. When he wasn't charged for it legally. It was... well, oh, okay, okay. We'll go through that yes. argument, too. Why don't we okay. do that? So do you agree? Also, it was pretty. Oh. Oh. Did, Did someone you just vanish? Kill Andy? Hillary Clinton was responsible for it, guys. Trust me. I, I don't agree with that. I'm just. Dev, I feel like you're going to base the alone. court. The court saying that there was no cheating in the election and that it wasn't enough to change the election is, if that's true, which was obviously true because they didn't find anything, then Trump also not being convicted for any of that would be. He was never would also be true. Wait, he wasn't charged with incitement. No, he was not. Okay. Do you believe that everything he's charged with, he's guilty of? Uh, no. Then why would we defer to the charging <laughs> well, Hold on, wait. I'm sorry. Do you think that you he is, do you think that he's guilty of things that he was convicted of? So even if he was convicted of incitement, would you believe it? If he was successfully convicted in court of incitement, then yeah, I would. I, if Donald I know, Trump was convicted of incitement of all the same evidence that's available to us now, would you then believe that he did incite the riot? I, don't, I mean, I don't. I don't see why not. Do you think that you're implying that you know as much as the courts just, would know in an, in an no, actual No, I'm asking you. So the only thing that matters for you is just the determination of the criminal court for whether a person did a thing or not. I'm not saying that's the only thing that matters. I'm saying that it would be a better argument. OK, do you agree then? Are you willing to say right now, 100 percent, Hillary Clinton did nothing criminally wrong in regards to her email server? She did nothing wrong. I don't, I don't nothing know. Nothing criminally it's, wrong. Nothing criminal. It, I don't. Charged. I don't remember. I, I wasn't really. Was she convicted? No, of anything she was never, no, she was never charged. Let alone charged with a crime. Then I. I guess not. I don't know. I, I, it, Obama, it, legally, uh, yeah. legally, no. I don't know if she actually did or not. Legally, yeah. So anyone who's not charged with something didn't do anything criminal, right? I didn't say that. But like, I said but that it at least hard, high, hard these argument. high profile situations. So, for example, you agree Joe Biden didn't do anything criminal with his documents because he wasn't charged. I, 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 that's, I didn't say that. I know you didn't say I'm asking bad you it, bro. I'm asking it. Do you believe it? I don't know. If there wasn't a court case for it or he wasn't convicted, then I, how would I know? Well, maybe because we look at the You're facts and evidence. You know more than the court. Well, maybe we look at the facts and evidence and we understand that, you know, prosecutors make decisions for a myriad of different reasons. That And there could be a lot of plausible reasons why they don't bring charges against Hillary Clinton. They don't bring charges against Joe Biden. And maybe it's incumbent upon us to not just be idiots on Twitter named Dev who just, you know, don't even think about the facts. What about the 34 felonies he was convicted of? Just like test your consistency. You agree he was, he was guilty of falsifying business records in New York, right? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Do you agree that Chaz wasn't an insurrection or a rebellion? I don't think anybody was charged with insurrection or rebellion for Chaz, right? I don't see how it was an insurrection or rebellion, so no. Okay. A bunch, of, a bunch of righties called it an insurrection. You know that, right? A ton of them. Yeah. What about Trump himself? I'm, I'm not a right Trump himself called BLM riots insurrections. You know that, right? Yeah, that was stupid. 
Okay. Was the Civil War an insurrection? Were the Kenosha the, the riots Civil riots War? if nobody was charged with rioting in Kenosha? In the Civil I, I don't know. War, no one was, I don't know why you're going... In the Civil War, no one was charged with insurrection. I just want you to know. They were charged, some were charged yeah. with treason, but, but people weren't charged with insurrection. I, so you would agree that Civil War wasn't an insurrection? I, I'm saying that if they weren't charged with an insurrection on January 6th, it's a hard argument that it was an actual insurrection. What about Civil War? Is it a hard argument for the Civil War? <laughs> yes or no? I don't know. I feel like it's... Yes or ridiculous. no, or I don't know. Well, well your incredulity yes aside... Yes or no, or I don't know. We're trying to get... Yes or no, more. or I don't know. Civil for the war. Civil War, was anyone... I, 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 yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't you know what don't the court know. looks like in the Civil War. Argument. You do know it's a bad argument for January 6th. Go figure. I feel like it's a, I, I feel like it's a bad argument. Why? Why is it a good argument... Oh, sorry, a bad argument for January 6th, but you don't know for the Civil War? Do you, Can you... Tell me, like, with complete factual evidence, everything that happened on the Civil War. I feel like it's a everything completely. That so I cannot tell you every completely every different topic entirely. But I can tell you. Different time I can tell you the people who were charged in the Civil War. Most of them were almost everyone was given clemency, but the, the charges that initially existed were for treason, not for insurrection. Also, what a stupid idea. Can we all admit here right now, honestly, the idea in the Civil War that they would have seceded and, and actually succeeded was stupid, right? There was no chance that that was going to work. So does it even really count as a Civil War? I'm not sure. Or like an insurrection or anything like that. Because like, what, they were going to be a whole separate country with like an inferior military, inferior economy? Like that, that was dumb, right? Do we even consider that a, a Civil War? Me personally, I don't know. I, I feel like <laughs> you don't know if it's Civil War or Civil War? Fuck out of here! Oh my god. I don't That's know what's ridiculous. going on with you, Dev. Come on, Dev. I just I just agreed with you. I Look me in the eyes right now. The Civil War was an insurrection, bro. Are, are you are you trolling knows, right man? now? I'm not trolling. I'm making a point that it's it's extremely ironic that everyone talks about Donald Trump idiots. and people genuinely believing that the, the country's election was rigged or stolen. And your immediate argument is, well, it wasn't proven in court that it was stolen, so it must not have been stolen. No, 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 no. Our argument no, is... So, 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 that so, that is on. specifically your argument. If Trump was able to produce evidence now, beyond a reasonable doubt, that convinced me or Stephen, independent of any court decision, we would like st say so and be like, oh, this was stolen. The, th the truth is, not only did they fail in court, that's just like a little cherry on top. The factual circumstances didn't even... Uh, weren't there, weren't true. Right. And so I, I, I agree. There's one thing you can look at is like the presence of a process, right? The, the presence of a deliberative process where the facts were examined and you can make some conclusions based on that process. But what you're pointed to is the lack of any factual process. But there could be a lot of reasons why that process never initiated for procedural reasons, discretionary reasons. And so there's a lot more different conclusions you can draw from the fact that this process didn't occur at all versus various processes where there was opportunities to hear evidence and when it was presented it did not succeed you understand and, that difference? and there were there were also other processes that did determine it was an insurrection there was a whole impeachment where everybody agreed that it was an insurrection uh, i'm pretty sure there were medals of honor i think or medals of something that were given by congress yeah, yeah congressional, congressional medals, medals yeah where honor. they said that it was an insurrection in new mexico a guy was kept off the ballot because they said that j6 was an insurrection a court in colorado said that for all intents and purposes whatever definition you would have january 6th would qualify as an insurrection so even courts that have looked at this have agreed every, that it was sorry, an insurrection. every single court that has squarely touched the issue of whether it was an insurrection has done so. And there's multiple January, uh, so courts that have mentioned the insurrection in passing um, and have held as such, even though it's not like essential to the case in some of these cases, but they've said mm -hmm. January 6th was an insurrection, citing various definitions. And so All right. there have been processes that have determined it to be an insurrection. Would you defer to those processes, those court decisions? The examples I'm giving specifically are the Coy Griffin case in New Mexico, the Colorado cases, holdings that have not been disturbed by the Supreme Court and the various federal opinions and, and various indictments of Jan 6 um, individuals where they have said that January 6th was an insurrection. Do you accept no, I, those I, opinions? I, yeah, I would obviously not write them off at all. No, I'm not completely disagreeing. Why, why would you not defer to them? And you don't, you don't even have to defer to them. You could say, well, here's some counter evidence that I think weighs really heavily against them. <laughs> what is it? I'm not necessarily disagreeing. Right, I'm just dude. out of out of out of complete curiosity, not for the not necessarily yeah. for the purpose of disagreeing. 
why would it be then that in the past four years they have not been able to successfully charge Donald they, Trump if it's so completely empirically like ev it's just obvious with so much they evidence? They clearly don't want to charge him with insurrection. Okay, and you're I, I know. I'm, I'm going to give you an honest. Not to argue. I'm just asking yeah, I'll give you. you I'll that. give you my honest opinion. I think that the tar they want to have just like a bunch of the Jan Six defendants. They want the easiest legal kind of chain that they can have, and these the obstruction is bread and butter. The um, conspiracy that's bread and butter the insurrection that's a lot more messy that's tougher and i think that they just want easy cases especially for a target like the president of the united states they want to just be able to get all the convictions they want and they don't want to like throw anything up to chance and they want to do it quick easy like all the cases they've done i'm going to tell you right now i don't agree with that decision i think they should have charged people with insurrection that said reasonable minds can disagree i know steven doesn't agree with me and he thinks that it was a wise decision for the doj not to charge insurrection but um, again, it doesn't mean that they didn't do it. It just means that there was a policy choice make it made that you can agree with or disagree with. Sure. Okay. And I think also just on, uh, to add to that, I don't know if he's going to agree or not. Uh, I agree that they probably wanted the easiest charges. That's usually how it goes when you charge people with crimes generally. But also they were probably aware that none of the courts, especially the Supreme Court, as soon as you start talking about like insurrection or incitement, you're asking the Supreme Court to make some very strong statements about freedom of speech as it relates to, uh, pr you know, presidential candidates, uh, politicians in office. That is a really challenging court case that a court, the Supreme Court especially, might just not want to touch. Uh, so it's probably Probably fair if they're thinking, well, we think that Donald Trump did X, Y, Z criminal actions. We can charge him with these actions. And we feel like this more or less encompasses all the bad that he did, rather than saying we're also going to do this insurrection thing. And we're going to have the Supreme Court touch on what are the limits of freedom of speech during a presidential I, rally. That's a really scary. I can understand them not I, wanting to touch that question in a court setting. That makes sense. I, I agree. But I, I also feel like if it's this important and it's this important to actual democracy and people are worried about him being in office for an extended amount of time that they have to touch on that because if it's something that actually happened i feel like it would be important that it's specifically called out in court rather than charging him a bunch of random other stuff where i agree and i, agree. I think that's pisco's argument i don't think that's a yeah. bad argument i think that's a, i think that's an agreeable argument yeah I, I feel like it would be a lot easier for people who support trump too to look at it differently if he was specifically tried in court for that that's the reason i said the argument i'm not convinced i think that's I, I think that's what people. Well, well I'm, obviously, not all of them are going to think that. They're going to say it's rigged and the courts are rigged. And I, right. Courts are rigged. I mean, it's. I, the <laughs> oh is gonna, my God. I'm, I'm not saying it would happen in that situation. I'm saying, obviously, courts are not perfect in this country. They, I feel like they never have been. But so they. I, well, of course I, not. I, but, I know they would say that. But well, I'm saying it would be easier for a lot of people and it would be an easier argument, especially for when you have like Joe Biden go on stage and he says there was an insurrection and people say, oh, well, he wasn't charged with an insurrection. I'm just pointing yeah, you out that Do you understand that nobody makes this same clip? Nobody talks about the fact that Hillary wasn't even charged with stuff relating to the email thing. They never mentioned I know, that I Hillary... Feel like, I feel like they should then. I feel like that would be the argument. Yeah, but they don't. It. But the, what I'm trying to show is that they don't actually care about this stuff. They call it lawfare when it happens to... Uh, Dem that when the Democrats do it, or when it happens to Republicans, they call it lawfare. And then when it happens to uh, Democrats or it doesn't happen enough, they say it's perfectly valid. You understand... Do you ever understand how crazy Republicans would be going if a Republican was charged with lying on a 4473 because there's a video of them doing crack cocaine like Hunter Biden got charged with? I don't know if... I, I <laughs> That, I, like, I definitely, I, I do understand. I, I definitely understand. I see it on both sides happen, and it's, I think it's ridiculous. It's, no, it's not both sides though. Donald Trump was the one that went well, on Fox News Hillary, and says there needs to be an Clinton. indictment. For, you're sure, but no, no. The, the, the Democrats have, as far as I can see, as surprising as it is, seem to be decently fair when it comes to criminal charges on their side. You haven't seen Biden uh, pardon his son. You know Donald Trump would pardon his son, right? Yeah. Okay. You uh, you didn't see Biden. So for all the intents of uh, Biden directing the DOJ. Well, it seems like, did he direct the DOJ to go after his own kid? That's hard to know that happened. We do know, you do, you agree with that, right? He did, it doesn't seem like he's directing them, right? I would, I would, I would assume not. Okay, you do, <laughs> we do agree that Trump was putting a ton of pressure on his DOJ. That's why so many people quit. When Sessions recused himself, Trump made fun of him publicly for it. He fired Comey because Comey wouldn't kill the FBI investigation. And he pr pressured Barr to publish false statements. And that's why Barr, we agree that that happened, right? None of what I'm saying is secret. This is all like out in the open, right? Yeah, I, it, it happened. I mean, yeah. So how, this isn't a both sides thing. It's like well, I was Trump, only referring to you speaking about Hillary Clinton being charged and them saying, you know, they're, everyone on the right talking about Hillary Clinton when she wasn't actually charged. I was just ref comparing it to that because that's what you brought up. Well, sure. I think so we're only bringing that up because it seems like you were saying, well, if they did charge Trump and convict him of it, people would some people would believe it. But I don't. It seems like I, I mean, I think a lot of people would believe it if he was charged in court and he was jailed for. I feel like that would be extremely important. I feel like it would be. A much at least at least would be a much stronger argument if he was actually convicted of it is all i was saying
I, I feel like the prosecutions and also the 34 convictions that Trump got in New York, it didn't endear, like it didn't persuade any Republicans. Well, no, because well, that was 34 convictions of falsifying business documents is different than inciting an actual coup on the country. I feel like that's obviously different. There, well, there's certainly different crimes, and I'm not sure why we would assume that Republicans would be more likely to accept a conviction or the prosecution of insurrection or conviction on insurrection compared to falsifying business records. It seems to me the evidence is pretty clear that to the vast majority of Republicans, Donald Trump can do no wrong. He can't falsify business records because he's Donald Trump. He can't commit insurrection because he's Donald Trump. The evidence seems to sit squarely on that side. What about the willful retention of classified documents? You had people like uh, there were legal experts. Bill Barr, again, Trump's own former attorney general, said that that's the most open and shut case right there. And you still had prominent MAGA Republican politicians, commentators, and just everyday voters saying that it was bullshit. It's a cult of personality, my man. It really is. And you know it is. Yeah, I, I, I agree that my problem is that I'm not exactly entirely Republican. I just sort of want to weigh for, in on the. Are you going to vote for Trump? For Trump over, I guess, Kamala? I'd, personally, yes. Why? Why? Why, but more gently. <laughs> Why? My bad, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, there's so many different reasons. I, give us one. Yeah, top one. Specific personal I mean, I can give you very specific personal sure, reasons. Sure, one that, personal yeah. reason, yeah. Well, yeah. One, one specific personal reason would have to do with uh, medication that I use and the FDA allowing it. One of Trump's running points was about cutting regulations on FDA for rare disease medication, which was something that I had been struggling with for eight years. And he, he, only when he became president, I think it was about two years in, uh, it's medication I used to eat and I was able to get it. And I saw tons and tons of people online speaking about it. And this was something that through all of, I, I wasn't, I guess, old enough at the time where when Obama was, when he at least when he took office to understand what was going on, except that I couldn't get medication. So that was something that he did that I feel like people wouldn't generally know about unless it directly affected you because it wasn't on the news and he didn't really speak about it. But it was something that he ran on that ended up happening. Wait, hold on. Just I mean, curious. Is this one personal reason. Is this medication really expensive? Uh, yes. it would. If it weren't for insurance and mm -hmm. a specific private company that helps pay for it, it would cost me $20,000 every month. When you, um, do you mind me asking about how old? Are you older, older than 25? Um, I'm 26. Okay. Do you understand that Trump ran initially on repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act. And if you had a pre-existing condition trying to get covered for this medication, there is no shot in hell that anybody would cover you for it if it's that expensive. I I, I had been covered for it before the Affordable Health Care Act. I've been on it for my entire life. Was it covered like your parents' insurance before your that, parents, though? Yeah, yeah because at 26, it, you would have had was, to hop it, off that. Yeah, no, the my parents' insurance covered the medication. And it's it still covers it with the Affordable Health Care Act. Um, it covers I, most of it. It would cost me about five hundred dollars, and there's a private company that steps in to help pay for the rest of it. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I think that I'll look into the rare disease advocacy that Trump has done. Yeah, before. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's there's could have been things that have happened that may. Well, have been also, just to be clear, I'm pretty sure that the ACA is what extended the coverage of the parents' insurance, and that after you drop your insurance uh, from your parents, you would have to go and get insurance of your own. I don't know the specifics, but I don't think that you can yeah. get, be covered under something as a new person if you have a pre-existing condition that was previously covered under your parents' insurance. You would have to, you'd be fucked. You'd be completely out in the cold. Not without that. the ACA. Yeah, yeah. That, that Trump tried to repeal twice, actually, and he even attempted to do it again during the pandemic. That's fair. I feel like through a lot of his speeches, he said he wanted to keep pre-existing conditions. I remember him saying that. He did quite say a that. Few times. Sure, he did. Say I mean, that. Oh, I don't know if he would have actually done it or not, but he did say that quite a few times. Well, I mean, if he, that... if he wouldn't have done it, I would have had a very different position because it would have affected me extremely heavily. So I obviously would have a different position on him if he didn't follow through with it and he repealed the Affordable Health Care Act. But it let, at least for one personal decision, that would be it. Would be that. Is that the is that the only reason, the primary reason that you? I mean, it's one of I would say it's one of the primary reasons, but I feel like it's a lot of very generic other reasons. Okay, well, at least you had a specific one. Also, listen, I love you guys. I have to take off because it's fucking late for me. Okay, be careful. Yeah. Thanks for chatting. I love you.